Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Myriad Worlds, Steals Food, and Queen Chong Sun Falls in Love. Chapter 1. In the early morning, do you open the door, stretched and looked around. What comes into view is an orchard with four acres of apples and four acres of pear trees. Life is full of changes and impermanence, and he could never have imagined that he, a college graduate from a fifth-level university, would one day return to the countryside to farm. To be precise, he went back to the countryside to take care of the orchards. Ten years ago, his parents died in a car accident, and he and his grandfather depended on each other. The old man passed away not long ago, and the only thing left to him was this orchard. The old man had taken care of this orchard all his life. Before he died, he told him that it should be passed down as an ancestral property and could not be sold off, otherwise he would not be able to rest in peace until his death. And the old man's only request before he died was that he could take over the orchard and not let it go into waste. Du Yu and his grandfather had a very deep relationship. Although he didn't understand why the other party made such a request, he resolutely gave up his high-paying job in the city and returned to the countryside to take over the industry left by his grandfather. But sometimes he couldn't help but sigh. He obviously studied computer programming and game development, but now he became a fruit farmer by accident. However, he knew nothing about growing fruit trees, so he could only buy a lot of agricultural books and supplement them every day. Then if something goes wrong, you can ask your neighbors for advice. Now a year has passed, and although he is not yet an expert on planting fruit trees, at least he is not completely ignorant. At the same time, waking up every morning and breathing the fresh air of the mountain village is a kind of contentment. Nowadays, with the increasing urbanization process, it is rare to find a place with such beautiful mountains and clear waters and fresh air in this world. Du Yu washed his face with cool well water and was about to run around the hillside for morning exercise. The village chief came again with two men in neat suits. Du Yu frowned slightly. These were people who wanted to buy their own orchard. He has come here several times, and he has made it clear that he refuses, but the other party still insists on coming, which makes him a little annoyed. Sure enough, the purpose of the other party's visit was still the same, he still wanted to buy his orchard. Although the price has increased a lot, do you still did not agree. The orchard was left by his grandfather when he was dying. For his grandfather's last wish, he, a top student, gave up the generous working conditions in the big city and returned to the countryside. If he wanted to give up the orchard, he would have given up long ago, and he could still wait until today. Before leaving, the village chief was still there to persuade him, do you, it's enough to pay for it. You should consider it. Do you replied, don't think about it. It's my grandfather's will that I can come back and inherit this orchard, so I won't give up. The other party sighed and said, but you don't know how to grow fruit trees. You can't make much money a year. After sending these people away, I suddenly heard a clanging sound in the air. Myriad World Stealing Vegetable Orchard Opens. Congratulations to the host for the eight acres of orchard that has been bound to the Myriad World's orchard system. From now on, the host's friends in Myriad Worlds can interact with the host through the Myriad Worlds Orchard game interface. The current level can connect the four worlds. Searching for connectable worlds. Search connection completed. Can be added to friend search. The search is completed and has been added to the list, please host to add it yourself. The current level can add four friends. This made do you couldn't help but be surprised. In front of his eyes, an operation interface appeared in the void. It feels a bit similar to the happy farm he played when he was in college. And a list to add popped up in front of him. There are more than a dozen names listed on it. Cheng Sun Wugu, Chu Sui Liang, Zhou Fengqi, Xiao Feng, Duan Zhengchun, Tianxin Tonglao, Bai Yuekui, Mark, Charles, Tushin Yaya, Early White Month, Royal Power and Wealth. Twelve characters from four worlds can add friends, but you can only choose one from each world. Cheng Sun Wugo Do you knew that she was Empress Cheng Sun of the Tang Dynasty, who was known in history as one queen through the ages. In other words, the first world was when the Xia Kingdom Great Tang Dynasty was just established. Chu Sui Liang was a famous calligrapher in the Tang Dynasty. He didn't know who Zhou Fengqi was. After searching on the internet, I found out that he was a famous businessman in the Tang Dynasty, and he was the richest in the world. Of course, there is no hesitation in choosing Queen Chengsun. 
If there is a beautiful woman, of course she will choose a beautiful woman. In this regard, Du Yu feels that his orientation is still very correct. Moreover, he is also very curious about Empress Changsun, whose fame has been passed down through the ages in the Great Tang Dynasty. He wants to know what she looks like. As for the portraits that have been handed down, he he, they are all ghostly. In ancient Xia Dynasty, the painting technique was freehand brushwork, not realism. Because the lines of the brush are soft, the realism is actually seriously distorted. In addition, the ancients also paid attention to beauty when painting, especially for those in superior positions, and they also had to add a filter to the other person. For example, the Great Tang Dynasty prefers plump beauty, so no matter who draws it, everyone will draw it chubby, while the Song Dynasty prefers slender beauty, so everyone who draws it will try to make it slimmer. So do you really wants to know what Queen Chengsun looks like? Xiao Feng, Duan Zhengchun, Tianxin Tonglao, these are from the world of Dragon Babu. After thinking about this, I chose Xiao Feng. Duan Zhengchun would definitely not choose it. If this philandering old pervert were added to the group, wouldn't he go around trying to hook up with female netizens in the future? After thinking about it, he didn't dare to add it, because Du Yu was not sure which version of the Tianxin child's grandmother it was. If Gong Li's version was fine, other versions would be a bit unbearable. Bai Yuekui, Mark, and Charles are from the world of Spirit Cage. Do you still need to choose this? Of course I chose Sister Bai. I like her long legs, how beautiful and sassy she looks when fighting, and her little expression when she bites her lip. Tushin Yaya, at the beginning of the month of the month, the royal power and wealth come from the world of Fox Demon Little Matchmaker. There is no need to consider this, of course I choose Tushin Yaya. Otherwise, should I choose the funny one of Bai Yu or the pretentious one of royal power and wealth? After sending the invitation to add friends, Du Yu looked at the system and asked, System, what are you for? It doesn't matter if you say you are a myriad world's orchard, why do you have to add the word, stealing vegetables? The system replied, my greatest use is to be able to steal food in myriad worlds. Every friend you add to this system will be bound to a planting land just like you. Everyone can plant various plants on this land, vegetables, fruits, flowers, and all kinds of plants. After upgrading in the future, you can also raise small animals. Planting plants on bound land will be accelerated by the system a hundred times. Hearing this, Du Yu was a little excited and asked, does the planted thing have special uses? For example, if it contains spiritual energy, it will be good for the human body after eating, and it will become more delicious, making people linger after eating it. System, you are overthinking it, and it will look just like what it should grow out of. At most, there is no need to fertilize, it is completely organic and harmless. It naturally tastes better than the ones that have been treated with pesticides and chemical fertilizers. But if you expect it to be as delicious as in the novel, it will be as addictive as smoking a cigarette. That's impossible. As for what benefits it will have on the human body after eating it, that's even more impossible. What does the food you grow look like in your own world? Hearing this, Du Yu was discouraged and said, then your system is useless. I thought I got a plug-in that was like a portable space. The system said, please continue to listen to me. First of all, the land you are bound to exists in a space beyond imagination, and you can connect spiritually. For example, take your eight-acre orchard. The eight-acre orchard still exists in reality, but an orchard exactly like this one appears in another dimension. You can think of it as similar to a portable space where you can store and retrieve items. And I can also enter it in person, with access limited to one hour per day. Do you nodded when he heard this and said, this is of some use. The system continued. The orchard in reality remains completely unchanged. The system's eight-acre orchard accelerates the growth cycle a hundred times. All added friend players can steal from each other when the items in this eight-acre orchard mature. Stolen things undergo special changes. For example, if you cross the river of time, there will be wonderful changes. For example, if you cross space in different worlds, you will be affected by time, space and various energies. The stolen vegetables are ordinary items in your own world, but they may become extremely rare goodies in other worlds. And there is a certain probability that even if everyone steals the same thing, some of them may mutate and become something more special. 
Hearing this explanation, Du Yu's eyes lit up. So this is what myriad worlds means. By the way, can I contact those friends? System. Not possible at the moment. The levels of the host and the players are too low, so real-time communication is not possible at the moment. Only when you succeed in stealing food, you can send 10 phrases to the other party, and each sentence must not exceed 30 words. Do you asked again, can friends exchange items in the future? System. Not possible at the moment. The host and player levels are too low. Please try to upgrade the host. Do you asked again, how to upgrade? The system replied, I am the myriad world stealing vegetable orchard. Naturally, the host wants a variety of things for others to steal, and I also want to steal a lot of vegetables. The more things you plant and the higher their value, the more system gold coins you will get. Subject owners and players are required to prepare the seeds for planting items by themselves. The seeds of any plant in their respective worlds can be planted in this space. Having people steal will get extra gold coin rewards, trigger special rewards, and get upgrade points. Stealing more from others will also reward you with gold coins, trigger special rewards, and earn upgrade points. Both the person who steals and the one who is stolen from will suffer no loss at the same time. Both parties will get the stolen items. When the upgrade points reach the required level, players will upgrade. There will be many ways to play in the future, please explore by yourself as a host. So that's it. Do you was looking forward to it at this time, waiting for the added friends to accept the invitation. At the same time, he looked around and saw that no one was around, and entered his orchard space in a flash, wanting to actually feel the atmosphere there. I just arrived at the space and looked around. Sure enough, it was the same as the orchard in reality. But it will gradually become different in the future. After all, time is accelerated a hundred times, and the growth rates of real orchards and things grown here are different. Before I could take a closer look, I heard a sound. Ding, Cheng Sun Wugo accepts your invitation. Do you quickly excited, feeling unusually excited, and immediately clicked on the other party's interface. What is shown is the other party's vegetable garden, which is also 8 acres. He originally thought that the queen's vegetable garden would be planted with various precious flowers. But I didn't expect that it was also some vegetables and fruits. This made Du Yu slightly surprised, and then he remembered that Queen Cheng Sun was a famous thrifty queen in history. When the Tang Dynasty was founded, it was not wealthy. The queen led the ministers to advocate frugality and oppose extravagance. At the same time, the queen was very close to the people, often going deep into the people, and often working with Li Shimin and ordinary people. Empress Cheng Sun's kind of work was not just for show. There are records in history that she personally opened a piece of land to grow food and vegetables. It seems that what is recorded in history is true. This made Du Yu even more fond of Empress Cheng Sun, whom she had never met. At this time, the vegetables and various fruits in Queen Cheng Sun's vegetable garden were also in a mature state. What surprised Du Yu was that there were two ginseng plants growing in the field. Haha, ha, what are you waiting for? Steal a wave first. Let our queen of the Tang dynasty feel the malice from another world. Do you control the mouse-like arrows and clicked on the food stealing function first. Then the arrow turned into a pair of big hands. System prompt. At the current level, the same player can only draw once every 24 hours, and the time is based on real space. This made Do you, who was about to steal randomly for a while, slightly stunned. In other words, in the real world, he could only steal Queen Cheng Sun once a day. Then we need to think carefully about what to steal. Of course it is the most valuable thing to invest in. Without thinking, he grabbed the ginseng plant. Ding, steal successfully, get ginseng, one. Changbai Mountain ginseng has crossed the long river of time, increased its medicinal age by 1,400 years, and turned into wild ginseng. The ginseng has reproduced many times over time. Congratulations to the host for obtaining one 1,500-year-old Changbai Mountain Wild Ginseng, 3,000-year-old Changbai Mountain Wild Ginseng, 500-year-old Changbai Mountain Wild Ginseng, 11th-century-old Changbai Mountain Wild Ginseng, and 100-year-old Changbai Mountain Wild Ginseng 32. Congratulations to the player Cheng Sun Wujia for receiving 1,000-year-old Changbai Mountain Wild Ginseng, 3000 year old Changbai Mountain Wild Ginseng, 11 500 year old Changbai Mountain Wild Ginseng, and 3200 year old Changbai Mountain Wild Ginseng. 
Du Yu was completely shocked, and there was only one thought in his mind. Is this what the system says? Does the thing stolen from stealing food span the long river of time and the mutation caused by the latitude of space? This idea is very reasonable. Queen Cheng Sun was a person from 1,400 years ago, and the ginseng she planted was not 1,400 years ago. Wouldn't it be 1,500 years if we got it now? It turns out that this is the change brought about by crossing the long river of time. That's awesome. Wild Changbai Mountain Ginseng is now available on the market for hundreds of millions of dollars, and I don't know the price of thousand-year-old ginseng. Because from beginning to end, there has never been a genuine millennium ginseng on the market. The so-called thousand-year-old ginseng in the hands of some pharmacies and collectors is only a hundred years old. The true thousand-year-old ginseng has a body length of one meter only, excluding the ginseng whiskers. In the 1990s, the Xia dynasty once dug up such a thousand-year-old ginseng. The main trunk was 1.2 meters long and it was exhibited in the museum. But it was never mentioned again after 2,000 years. Some people said that it was left to die. The largest single live ginseng known in the world is now placed in the Great Hall of the People. The main body is only 60 centimeters long and the medicine is more than 200 years old. The actual growth age of wild century-old wild ginseng available in the market is about 50 years. The so-called thousand-year-old ginseng on the market is about two feet long, including the ginseng whiskers, and its actual age is only about a hundred years. But what do you got now was the real thousand-year ginseng, the century-old ginseng. The length of the century-old wild ginseng is that the main trunk is one foot long, and with the complete ginseng whiskers, it is more than two feet long. The length of the main trunk of wild ginseng that is 500 years old has exceeded 80 centimeters. The main trunk of the millennium ginseng is all over one meter, and the three millennium ginseng plants are not all the same in medicinal age. The largest one is 1,300 years old and is nearly one meter and four in length. The length of the main trunk of the 1,500-year-old ginseng plant reached 1.5 meters. The shape of these wild ginseng is clearly visible, and the head, body, and limbs are all very distinct. When placed vertically, they look like a group of white children. Do you could even feel the appearance of these ginsengs? Some ginsengs had delicate features and looked a bit beautiful. It made people think they were girls at a glance. It was really magical. And when he looked at these ginseng, the information about each ginseng plant came to his mind. Centennial ginseng is a medicine that is 120 years old, dot can treat cancer. Centennial ginseng has a medicinal lifespan of 310 years, it can cure cancer and prolong life for many years. Taking it can increase your lifespan by three months. Comma. Holy shit. This made do you startled. Oh my god. Did the wild century old ginseng have such an effect? Or did these ginseng have special changes because the myriad worlds orchard cross the time and space dimension? Du Yu didn't know this, but he understood that the value of these ginseng was immeasurable. Just the fact that it can cure cancer will make countless rich people spend hundreds of millions of dollars to buy it. In another time and space, Queen Cheng Sun had just entered her orchard space and was looking at everything around her curiously. Suddenly, she saw a ginseng plant disappearing in the vegetable field she planted. In the midst of surprise, I heard the system prompt. Your friend do you stole your ginseng. You should also go to his house and steal vegetables. We must repay him in kind. Congratulations on getting 1,000-year-old Changbai Mountain Wild Ginseng, 3,000-year-old Changbai Mountain Wild Ginseng, 11,500-year-old Changbai Mountain Wild Ginseng, and 100-year-old Changbai Mountain Wild Ginseng 32. Upon hearing this reminder, Queen Cheng Sun's beautiful eyes widened in surprise. Finally, he narrowed his beautiful phoenix eyes and laughed out loud, it's really interesting. After being stolen, you got more. What was stolen later was probably the century-old ginseng that was paid tribute by the Kingdom of Korea. I didn't expect that after it was stolen, I got 4,000-year-old ginseng plants and dozens of ginseng plants that were more than a hundred years old. Haha, <laughs> this is a magical and interesting space. There was a ding. Your friend do you left you a message after stealing food. Do you want to check it? Check. Opening the message, do you's message was in simplified Chinese, but the system came with a built-in translation. All Queen Cheng Sun saw were in Tang Dynasty characters, so there was no communication barrier at all. Hello, Queen Cheng Sun, 
my name is Du Yu, and I come from the Sha Kingdom 1400 years later. Please take care of yourself and make tea with these century-old ginseng slices. Historically, you stayed here for eight years and died of illness at the age of 36. The Queen Wen Deshen is known as Saint Emperor, and is known as the Queen of the Eternal World by future generations. Now that I've become friends with you, I don't want you to be miserable. Besides, your fourth son, Li Ji, needs to be dealt with. Don't let him become emperor in the future. That's a prodigal son. The Tang dynasty was almost destroyed in his hands. Finally, I attach a photo of myself. I hope the queen will return a photo. I really want to know what the real Queen Cheng Sun looks like. Sister Zong Sun, you don't want our descendants to think you look like this, right? At the end of the text message, a portrait of Queen Cheng Sun was attached. These ten messages surprised Empress Cheng Sun. They contain a lot of information. The other party reminded him to make tea with these century old ginseng, and also said that he died young at the age of 36. If ordinary people said this, Empress Cheng Sun would only think it was alarmism. She is in very good health now, and she does not look like she will die in her 30s. But now I got an invitation from this vegetable orchard called Myriad Worlds and came to this magical space. What she experienced was so wonderful that she had to believe it. The friend named Du Yu that I added said that he was from 1400 years later. If this is the case, the other party will definitely be able to know something about himself through the history books. That means that I really left this world at the age of 36. This surprised her. In addition, I have only given birth to two sons now, but according to the meaning of the other party's words, I will give birth to a fourth son named Li Ji in the future. What surprised Empress Cheng Sun even more was that she deduced a piece of information from the other party's words. Her eldest son, the current prince Li Chengqin, did not inherit the throne. Instead, her fourth son would become the emperor in the future. However, the other party commented that his fourth son was a prodigal son who needed to be dealt with, and that he might almost destroy the Great Tang Dynasty in the future. Thinking of this, Empress Cheng Sun's heart trembled, thinking, should I give birth to this fourth son in the future? If this is the case, it would be great to have three sons in the future. Do you didn't know that because of his reminder, Empress Cheng Sun from another time and space had the idea to strangle Li Ji, Emperor Gaozong of the Tang Dynasty, in her mother's womb. If Tang Gaozong Li Ji knew about it, he would probably thank his eight generations of ancestors across time and space. He would definitely kneel down and cry to Empress Cheng Sun, Mom, I am your cutest little Ji Ji, you must not be alarmist. I don't want to be stillborn, you must give birth to me. Empress Cheng Sun clicked on Du Yu's portrait and showed a slightly surprised expression, he is quite handsome. He is fair and clean, but he is a handsome young man. But why is the other person's hair so short? Who cut his hair? The hair and skin of his body were given to him by his parents. Cutting his hair is like cutting off his head. What mistake did he make to deserve this torture? This made Empress Cheng Sun couldn't help but frown slightly. Then he curiously said to himself, Will people in 1400 years wear such clothes? They are not as gorgeous as my Tang Dynasty clothes. But this dress looks very simple and very smart. It doesn't have wide sleeves and hem, so it's very convenient for doing things. Finally, she clicked on her own portrait. After reading it, Empress Cheng Sun almost vomited blood in anger. Is this the image of me in the minds of future generations? What the hell is this? Is this what I look like? Is my face so fat? It really offends me. This beautiful face of mine was actually painted like this by future generations. Is it tolerable or not? I must let future generations know what I look like. How should I take this photo? After a while, Queen Cheng Sun understood how to take pictures under the prompts of the system. I suddenly felt so magical that the photo I took was like a replica of myself. Even every detail of the hair is exactly the same. Haha, ha, this is really fun. It's a pity that I can't show it to others. It's a shame. If painters can paint like this, my appearance can be passed down through the ages, so that future generations can admire my unparalleled beauty thousands of years later. It's a pity that no one has shared these beautiful photos. But Queen Cheng Sun suddenly thought of Du Yu. Didn't she have someone to share with? Thinking of this, she clicked on Du Yu's orchard and found that only apples and pears were grown in the orchard. I thought to myself, 
Humph, I am still rich. There are ginseng, vegetables and some fruits in my orchard. But after taking a closer look, Empress Changsun was extremely surprised. Wow, what kind of apple is this? It's so big, so round, and so red. Oh, what kind of pear is this? It's so golden and golden. It's so lovely. The apples eaten in modern society have been improved over thousands of years. Although there were apples in the Great Tang Dynasty thousands of years ago, the apples were very small and the taste was not very good. At this time, apples had problems with their taste and quality, so most nobles did not eat them, and they were only eaten by the common people. Similarly, the pears eaten by modern people have also been improved over thousands of years. Although there were pears in ancient times, their appearance and taste were nothing compared to today. The crystal pears grown in Duyu's orchard are golden and translucent, with attractive color. They make people happy just to look at them, and they feel very demanding. Empress Chengsun chose to steal. When she clicked, she felt her heart pounding. As a queen, she has always been gentle and virtuous. She has never done this kind of thing of stealing people's things. The first time she did it, it was inevitable that her adrenal glands would be soaring and it felt particularly exciting. How should I put it, this feeling is still a little exciting and exciting. Oh, I am the queen, how can I feel happy and excited just because I stole something? How could someone do this? It's so embarrassing. Empress Changsun couldn't help but stamp her feet in shame and anger, with a blush on her face, looking like a lovely apple. Ding, congratulations on your success in stealing and getting 50 caddies of crystal pears. In the process of crossing the long river of time, these pears have been baptized by time, and have the effect of rejuvenating and beautifying the skin. Congratulations on winning 50 pounds of time crystal pears. Congratulations to player Du Yu for winning 50 kilograms of time crystal pear at the same time. Queen Cheng Sun looked at the time crystal pear she had obtained. Wherever she looked, an introduction to this crystal pear automatically appeared. Because the time crystal pear comes from 1400 years in the future, it is contaminated with the energy of looking back in time. So every time one is consumed, the user's body functions can be restored to those one month ago. Remarks, just the recovery of body functions will not make the individual organism go back in time. At the same time, due to the action of time, it will lock the user's beautiful appearance and have a strong beautifying effect. Oh my god! This thing is so magical, it's incredible. Empress Chengsun couldn't help but scream in surprise, and this kind of thing is what they like most as women. What woman doesn't want to stay young and look beautiful forever? Even if it lasts through the ages, it cannot be exempted from vulgarity. Otherwise, you can't stamp your feet in anger when you see the portrait of yourself in the future, and take a few selfies and send them to do you to put things in perspective. Because the food stealing was successful, Queen Cheng Sun could reply to Du Yu with up to 10 messages. Hello, I am the eldest grandson of the Empress of the Tang Dynasty, Wu Go. I am very happy to be your friend. Thank you for your reminder. I will always pay attention to health care in the future so that my beauty will not die prematurely. I'll send you some photos to let you know what I really look like. The portraits of future generations are really ugly. If possible, I hope you can let future generations know my true beauty. By the way, tell me who painted that portrait for me, and I promise not to beat him to death. Finally, you said that my fourth son Li Ji would almost destroy the Great Tang Dynasty. What on earth is going on? Do you think I still need to give birth to this son? Why didn't my eldest son Li Chengqin inherit the throne? Is there something wrong? Could it be that he died in infancy? Soon, do you check the information of Empress Changsun, especially when he saw her Jugonj photo, he almost couldn't help but have a nosebleed. Beautiful, so beautiful, so Queen Changsun looks like this. Oh my god, you are so beautiful, but you are not one of the four beauties of ancient and modern times. Do you think the ancients really looked down on modern beauties in terms of appearance? The difference is not one or two orders of magnitude. In the photo, Empress Changsun may be working in the fields, wearing simple plain makeup. Wearing a white silk mid-length skirt that reached her knees, the sleeves were rolled up, revealing her long arms that looked like frost overcoming snow. There are not too many decorations on the high bun, only a gold hairpin is inserted, but there is a kind of grace and elegance that no woman can express, and the temperament is elegant, but also has an extraordinary gentle and virtuous character. Temperament. 
This temperament is also filled with a strong bookish atmosphere, which is very intellectual. Empress Cheng Sun's oval face does not make her look fat, but it makes her look more classic and gentle. Bright eyes, white teeth, small cherry mouth, a pair of phoenix eyes, bright and lively, showing some agility. This added two more points of liveliness and wisdom to her virtuous temperament. As for the figure, do you only want it to comment? Queen, did you come from the two-dimensional world? Thin where it should be thin, fat where it should be fat. The small waist is like a willow, swaying in various shapes, the Sioux brother is like a ripe peach, making people salivate. The thighs are plump, somewhat fleshy, and the calves are straight and graceful. Even through white silk trousers, you can feel the amazing elegance and beauty. Only then did do you realize that those who said that fatness was considered beautiful in the Tang dynasty were simply uneducated. Plump and fat are not the same thing at all. You can say that Queen Cheng Sun is a little plump, but she is definitely not fat. She is so fat that she looks like a double chin with a butt. Plumpness is the beauty of being fat in places that should be fat and not fat in places that should not be fat. The reason why Du Yu felt like he was going to have a nosebleed was that the thin white silk revealed a little bit of the red tube top, which made people's hearts beat. As a man, you will always have a charming reverie about that inadvertent touch of red. What's more, the Tang dynasty was relatively open. It may be the first time for Queen Cheng Sun to take a selfie, and she still can't control the heat. Problems will arise from all angles. There was a photo from top to bottom. The deep ravine made Du Yu feel itchy in his nostrils. The most shocking picture is a long-distance selfie of Empress Cheng Sun sitting on the grass. Why, Queen Cheng Sun is from the ancients, so she probably doesn't know about the technology of three-finger amplification. At this time, Du Yu just wanted to shout, System YYDS. You are such an idiot. But please continue to maintain this advantage. The photo pixels provided by the system are 80 billion pixels. In the photo, Empress Cheng Sun is wearing a mid-length skirt above her knees, and then wearing white silk trousers. One of her beautiful legs is bent up, and the other is straightened, looking up at the sky. It was very beautiful and artistic. Queen Cheng Sun was very satisfied with this photo and sent it to Du Yu. But before the Song Dynasty, the trousers of the ancients were open at the crotch, which was called Shin clothing. Crotchless pants did not appear until the Song Dynasty. This photo was taken from a distance, and Empress Cheng Sun didn't know that the photo had a magnification function. So there is no problem at normal size. Otherwise, she would not have sent this photo to Du Yu. But what is the concept of 80 billion pixels? The length and width of the photo can be enlarged a thousand times without distortion. So Du Yu couldn't help but cover his nose, which was about to bleed, and said in his heart, is it so exciting? Empress, Sister Cheng Sun, we have only known each other for a short time. Is it appropriate for you to seduce me like this? Don't say anything, collect it, definitely collect it. A few more photos like this. Unfortunately, every time you successfully steal food, you can only get the permission to send 10 messages. Do you has already used up, otherwise, he would have to send a message at this time. The queen is so beautiful, I beg you to see more photos of her stunning beauty. Waiting online. It's a pity that his current permission level is too low, and he can only send 10 text messages every time he steals food. If you want to contact Empress Cheng Sun again to ask for the most beautiful photos, you still need to wait another 24 hours. At this time, the apples and pears in the space have already matured. Six acres of the land were harvested, leaving an acre of apples and an acre of pears for everyone to enjoy secretly. Do you no longer wants to grow apples and pears on the six acres of land he has freed up? He thinks he should diversify into new varieties. His own family runs an orchard, so there is no shortage of various fruit seeds. And he also likes to eat fruits. Even if the varieties of fruits he likes to eat cannot be planted on a large scale in orchards, there will still be a small amount of seeds. After thinking about it, he rearranged the six acres of land. One acre was planted with mangoes, one acre was planted with strawberries, one acre was planted with sunshine rose grapes, one acre was planted with lychees, and one acre was planted with millennium shao. Tomatoes, the last acre of land is planted with golden special zalfang. The main reason why these are grown is that these varieties are also very good fruits in modern society, but if they were placed in ancient times, it would be even worse. 
The origin of strawberry and mango is not our country. During the Tang Dynasty, such fruits were not available at all. But whether it's strawberry or mango, its taste is extremely unique and very popular with women. The strawberry variety is milk strawberry, and the mango variety is Narcissus mango. Sunshine Rose is an improved grape variety in modern times and did not exist in ancient times. Millennium Tomatoes, let alone ancient times, did not exist. As for lychees, Great Tang Dynasty does exist, but it is only grown in the Lingnan region. Moreover, the shelf life of this kind of fruit is very short, and the freight cost to transport it to Chang'an is astonishingly high. Didn't you hear what that poem said? Riding on the red dust concubine smiled, no one knew it was lychee. Lychee is Yang Gaifei's favorite fruit. Even the wealthy Great Tang Dynasty feels very extravagant for this bite of fruit. Empress Cheng Sun, a diligent and thrifty empress, would definitely not do such a thing. Maybe she had never eaten lychees in her life. Finally, there is Golden Special Zaofang. The reason why watermelon is called watermelon is because it was introduced to our country from the western regions. In the late Tang Dynasty, watermelons were introduced from the western regions. Since they were imported, they were very expensive. Until the Song Dynasty, watermelon was still a noble fruit. It is said that an ordinary watermelon would cost 10 tails of silver, which was a sky-high price for the fruit. At that time, the watermelon was not the improved variety now, and sometimes the flesh was half-cooked after being cut. So Queen Cheng Sun must have never eaten watermelon. So Du Yu is looking forward to it very much. What will Queen Cheng Sun's expression be like when she eats these six kinds of fruits? Not only that, there are friends from three worlds waiting to join him. He is also looking forward to the variety of stolen items and what good things he will get. The world Xiao Feng lived in was the Song Dynasty, and he had never eaten any of the above fruits. I wonder what interesting things would happen if Xiao Feng took these fruits to that era. Then came the era of Bai Yuekui and Sister Bai. At that time, the entire human world was suffering from disasters and survival was a problem. It was good to have enough to eat, and fruits were definitely a luxury. He is also looking forward to what Bai Yuokui will do when he eats these fruits. He must have narrowed his big eyes with a smile, and then bit his lips tightly. It was really unbearable. Finally, the world of, Fox Fairy Matchmaker, is modern society, so it probably doesn't lack these things. But this is not certain, after all, they are two different worlds. The world of, Fox Fairy Matchmaker, is more like a modern world of cultivation and civilization. Maybe they don't have these fruits there either. Just as I was thinking this, the system sound rang again. Ding, Xiao Feng accepts your invitation and becomes your friend. Do you open the friend list and saw that it was marked like this, Xiao Feng, Xiao Feng. What does this mean? Could it be that the Xiao Feng added now is still called Xiao Feng? You must know that in, Tian Long Ba Bi Yu, when he was called Xiao Feng and when he was called Xiao Feng, they represented different periods. If Chao Feng is added now, then it is very likely that the plot of the beggar gang conference has not been triggered yet, and the other party is still the leader of the beggar gang. Then this is interesting. He clicked on the other party's orchard and found that ginseng was also grown in Xiao Feng's orchard. And they planted two acres. Oh my god, this is planting ginseng as cabbage. But when I think about it, it doesn't seem to be a problem. Xiao Feng is the future king of Nanyuan. At that time, the Liao kingdom was rich in ginseng, and it was sold by the ton for takeout. Xiao Feng has two acres of ginseng land, which seems reasonable, but isn't he now the leader of the beggar clan? I don't know how the system is defined. In addition, one acre of Poriococcus, one acre of Ganoderma lucidum, two acres of Polygonatum sibiricum, and two acres of green vegetables are planted in the orchard. It would be more appropriate to call Xiao Feng's orchard a medicine garden. But regardless of this, I will stop stealing ginseng. I have already stolen enough from Queen Chang Sun. Hee <laughs> hee, let's steal Ganoderma lucidum this time. Ding, the steal was successful and you got Ganoderma lucidum. Ganoderma lucidum transmigrated the long river of time and space, undergone some changes, and reproduced many descendants in the process. Congratulations on getting one millennium purple cloud Ganoderma, two 800-year-old purple Ganoderma, 9500 year old purple Ganoderma, and 2400 year old purple Ganoderma. Purple Yun Ganoderma is mutated from the spirit communication mushroom due to the influence of time.
It contains strong spiritual energy. Ordinary people can increase their happiness and longevity after taking it. After taking it, martial arts practitioners can increase the age of the medicine by 30 years every 100 years. Years of skill. Congratulations to player Xiao Fang for simultaneously receiving 1,000-year-old purple young Ganoderma, two 800-year-old purple Ganoderma, nine more than 500-year-old purple Ganoderma, and 2,400-year-old purple Ganoderma. Haha, ha, it's really good stuff again. Du Yu was really happy. But he didn't forget to leave a message for Xiao Fang. After all, Xiao Fang is his favorite character in Dragon Movie. Isn't it too much to give him a little spoiler in advance? At this time, Xiao Feng was galloping on his horse. He received a message from the beggar clan. The beggar clan was going to hold a general meeting in the apricot grove. However, what made Xiao Feng frown was that he, the gang leader, was not notified of such an important matter in advance. Someone from the beggar clan was doing such a big thing behind his back. He felt as if the elders of the beggar clan were hiding something from him. Xiao Feng is not greedy for power, but he also feels unhappy about this kind of thing. The good mood has been ruined a lot by the addition of a magical Myriad Worlds Orchard. But now the message sent by the Myriad Worlds Orchard system made Xiao Feng, who was riding a horse, startled, and a smile appeared on his lips. This is interesting. If you steal things from the orchard, you will get more. This seems to encourage us to steal from each other. Myriad Worlds, so interesting. Is this a way for people from different worlds to play games with each other to enhance their feelings and then become friends? Haha, ha, this is interesting. In this world, it is easiest for people who share the same goals or commit crimes to become friends. We stole food together. It was such a harmless thing that we did together. It was really easy to gain trust in each other. Purple Young Ganoderma, I have read in an ancient book before that it is called the Rare Saint Grade Ganoderma. I didn't expect that I would exchange one common spirit communication Ganoderma for dozens of Zian Ganoderma that are more than a century old. This feeling suddenly seemed very refreshing. The other party also left me a message. Xiao Feng opened the message. Hello, Brother Chao Feng, or better yet, Brother Xiao Feng, I am Du Yu, from the next 800 years. You should still be the leader of the beggar clan now, right? You haven't attended the Xingzilin beggar clan conference yet, have you? Remember that it was a conspiracy against you. Quan Guanqing is a villain. Ma Daewon was killed by a conspiracy between Bai Shijing and that bitch Kong Min. The two had an adulterous affair. The conspiracy started because you didn't accept Kong Min's seduction, and Kong Min got gang leader Wang's suicide note. It was mentioned in the suicide note that you are a descendant of the Khitans. This is indeed true. Kong Min and Quan Guanqing want to oust you from the position of gang leader and want to discredit you. The leading brother is Master Xuan Si, the abbot of Shaolin, but the mastermind behind what happened that year was Morong Bo. The person who killed your adoptive father and mother and Master Xuanku was Morong Bo. He is now hiding in the Sutra Pavilion of Shaolin Temple. Your biological father, Xiao Yuanshan, is also hiding in the Sutra Pavilion of Shaolin Temple. Be careful of that old sinister sweeping monk. I wish you and Aju Azi a long life and a happy life. Xiao Feng couldn't help but frown when he saw these ten messages. Many of them were without beginning or end, leaving Monk Zhang'er confused. Why did the other party call me Xiao Feng and just call me Xiao Feng? What does this mean? But some of the things the other party said are correct. For example, the other party asked if he was still the leader of the beggar clan and whether he wanted to participate in the Xingzilin beggar clan conference. How did the other party know that he was going to attend the Xingzi Linlin Beggar Clan Conference? What shocked him the most was that he believed that the beggar gang held this conference because of the murder of deputy gang leader Ma Daewon. However, the other party said that Ma Daewon was killed by Yishuang Kangmin, the deputy leader of Ma, and by Shijing. This really surprised him to the extreme. Not only that, Kong Min and Bai Shijing had an adulterous affair, and the two wanted to conspire to frame him. What was used was gang leader Wang's suicide note, which stated that he was a descendant of the Khitans. How could this be possible? This was a bit unacceptable to Xiao Feng. What he wrote next made him even more confused. Morong Bo was the one who killed his adoptive father and mother and Master Shuenku. My adoptive parents and Master Shuenku are obviously living well now and have not been killed. The leading brother in the back is Master Shuenxi. 
Why does this involve the leading brother? Why was it that Morong Bo was the mastermind back then? What's going on? What happened back then? What the other party said was meaningless. Morong Bo and his biological father are both hiding in the Sutra Pavilion of Shaolin Temple. How is this possible? The Sutra Pavilion of Shaolin Temple is an important place in Shaolin. It is guarded by countless masters. It is impossible to sneak in secretly with your own skills. Although Xiao Feng is not arrogant, he is also confident that his efforts in this world are better than what he can count on his two hands. He didn't even understand what the last sentence meant. The main reason is that the word, Lao Yin Kant, did not exist in the Song Dynasty. What does this mean? All of a sudden, Xiao Feng's head was buzzing. Although he couldn't understand some of the words, he understood one thing. The Apricot Forest Conference he was about to attend was a conspiracy against him. And how did do you, this unmasked friend in another world, know? He couldn't figure this out, but he was relieved immediately. Even if something as magical as the Myriad World's Orchard appeared, it was normal for some unexplainable things to happen. What's more, the other party said at the beginning that he came from 800 years later, so he understood what happened to him through history. In that case, it makes sense. Thinking of this, Xiao Feng opened the Myriad World's Orchard interface in his mind while riding a horse, and clicked on Do Use Orchard. Random clicks stole apples. Ding, the stealing was successful and I got 30 apples. These apples undergo some changes when they transmigrate space and time. Congratulations on getting 30 health recovering apples. The blood restoring apple, Saint Grade, melts in the mouth and specializes in treating various internal injuries. As long as a person with internal injuries is still breathing, he can be resurrected with full blood after eating it. Congratulations to your friend Do You for getting 30 health recovering apples at the same time. At this time, Do You also received this message, and he couldn't help but feel happy. Good guy, this blood restoring apple came just in time. This is simply a good thing specially prepared for Xiao Feng. Even if one day he accidentally beats Azu to death, he he, then all he needs to do is feed him a blood restoring apple, ah, my wife, you'll be alive again. Ha ha, that's really interesting. To be honest, when watching, Dragon, at the moment when Azu died, Xiao Feng was really pitiful, which made people lament the misery of heroes and the fate of beauties. Well now, this tragedy should never happen. It's just that without this incident, I wonder what changes will happen to the plot in the future. Will the wonderful fate between Xiao Feng and his sister-in-law Azi happen again? However, Xiao Feng was now filled with doubts and did not send a message to Du Yu immediately because he wanted to ask too many questions and didn't know where to start. When they arrived at Xingzi Lin, they met Duan Yu and his entourage, as well as Bao Butong and Feng Bo A. Because Ma Daewon's death was suspected to be the work of the Morong family, they started fighting with the four elders of the beggar clan. Chao Feng took action and resolved the conflict between the two parties with his superb martial arts. Unexpectedly, Quan Guanqing showed extreme dissatisfaction at this time, and was suspected of committing the following crimes. Chao Feng quickly captured Quan Guanqing, only to learn that Quan Guanqing's disciples of the beggar clan had surrounded Elder Chuan Gong and many other elders, trying to force Chao Feng to abdicate. Chao Feng had just resolved the matter, and then Xu Chongxiao, the veteran of the beggar clan, came with Ma Daewon's widow Kong Min. Then Tan Gong, Tan Po, Zhao Qianshan, Ziguang Monk and others appeared one after another. Kong Min said at this time that he had inventoried Ma Daewon's relics and got a suicide note. He also said that if Ma Daewon, the famous suicide note, died unexpectedly, the book would be handed over to the elders of the beggar clan to open and read together. At this moment, Xiao Feng couldn't help but feel surprised and doubtful. The direction of this matter is exactly as what the new friend Du Yu I met in the Myriad World's Orchard said. Then Xiao Feng listened to them talk about a bloody battle in the rocky valley outside Yanmen Pass. Finally, it was said that his family was killed, and he was given to Chao Sanwai and his wife by his eldest brother, the leader of the beggar sect, Wang Jiantong, and monk Ziguang. When he was seven years old, Master Shuenku taught him martial arts. At the age of 16, he was accepted by Wang Jiantong as his direct disciple, and later became the leader of the beggar clan. It was also said that after Chao Feng took over as gang leader, Wang Jiantong left a suicide note. If Chao Feng personally tried to punish the Han, the beggar clan could directly kill him. 
This suicide note from Wang Jiantong completely proves that Chao Feng is a chitin. This result was a surprise, but Chao Feng received Du Yu's notice before coming. Although he was very surprised, he felt calmer. When Chao Feng asked who the leading brother was, neither Tan Gong, Tan Po nor Ziguang Monk refused to tell him. Even when Chao Feng wanted to check the suicide note, the other party tore out the part where the leading brother's name was mentioned in the book and swallowed it. Lose. This made Chao Feng very angry, but he soon sobered up and remembered what Du Yu said. Sure enough, this leading brother was a very prestigious person in the martial arts. The number of people in the world who can make these people protect them to the death can be counted on two hands. These people are nothing more than the heads of the ten major sects such as the Shaolin Beggar Clan and the heads of the major martial arts families. Then Chao Feng thought of the message Du Yu sent him, which had revealed who the leading brother was. Thinking of this, Chao Feng snorted and said, Do you think this means I don't know who the leader is? Is it Master Xuan Si, the abbot of Shaolin? After saying these words, everyone around them opened their eyes in shock. Tan Gong, Tan Po and Zhao Qianzhen were even more surprised and said, How do you know? When Chao Feng heard this, his eyes couldn't help but shrink slightly. Sure enough, it was Shaolin Abbot Xuan Si. So, everything my friend Du Yu said is true. Of course, Chao Feng would not tell them that he had a myriad worlds orchard. He just snorted and said, what's so hard to guess? The more you fight to the death to protect him, the more powerful this person is. Actually, this also narrowed down the objects of suspicion for me in disguise. I can't even count the people you have to protect with your life, even with two hands. Prince Duan of the Duan family in Dali, the head of the Morong family, the abbot of the Shaolin Temple, the head of the Kongtong sect. The First World War took place at Yanmen Pass, far to the north. Of course it is more likely that the martial arts celebrities in the north will take the lead. And the person with the highest prestige in the northern martial arts world is the abbot of Shaolin. And why people in those days deceive the Central Plains Wulin to rob and kill my father? There must be an ulterior motive. Although it's unclear what his purpose is now, one thing is certain. He wants to provoke a war between the Central Plains Martial Arts and the Liao Kingdom. In this case, the bigger the issue, the better. If you want to find someone, look for the most prestigious person in the martial arts world. In addition, after you adopted me, why did you put me at the foot of the Shaolin Temple to be raised by my adoptive father Chao Sanwai? As a chitin like me, shouldn't you keep an eye on me at all times and keep me where you can see me? Later, Master Shuenku accepted me as his disciple. Now that I think about it, it was all an arrangement. As a chitin like me, you can be so confident and teach me martial arts. Of course I have to arrange for one of my own to monitor me. Master Shuenku of Shaolin became my mentor and taught me. This shows that Shaolin Temple was involved in what happened back then. This means that both Shaolin and the beggar clan took the lead in this matter. Shaolin is the largest sect in the world, and we, the beggar clan, are the largest gang in the world. If our two sects are involved in these two things, the leader must be either from Shaolin or from our beggar clan. And my master, gang leader Wang, is dead. A dead person is naturally not worthy of your protection. That means that the leader is still alive. Since the person who took the lead in this matter was not my master, then the only person left was Xuan Si, the abbot of Shaolin at the time. So what's there to guess? The leader at that time even looked up to my master, the leader of the largest beggar gang in the world. I can't find three such people in the world. It looks like I guessed it right. Chao Feng's words made everyone marvel. I thought to myself, Nan Morong and Bei Chao Peak are indeed worthy of their reputation. Gang leader Chao is not only highly skilled in martial arts, but also extremely intelligent. We tried every means to hide who the leader was, but we didn't expect that we would become a clown in vain and make people laugh. Chao Feng added, but what you said is only one-sided, which makes it hard for me to believe it. I will go to my adoptive parents and my mentor, Master Shuenku, to get confirmation first. Let's not talk about it today. My beggar gang is holding a beggar gang meeting in Xingzi Forest for the death of deputy gang leader Ma Daewon. It just so happens that all the elders and famous martial arts figures are here, and it just so happens that they can witness the household affairs of the beggar clan. I have found out some clues about the death of deputy gang leader Ma. And the real murderer is here now. Bai Shijing, 
Get out of here. Chao Feng roared, using the lion's roar of Shaolin's 72 stunts. This martial art is not only a sonic attack, but also has the effect of shocking the enemy's mind. Bai Shijing felt guilty and uneasy. After being shouted at like this, he immediately shouted instinctively, No, it's not me. I don't want to kill him either. Kong Min's bitch forced me to do so. When these words were spoken, the expressions of the people around him could not help but change. The other party was just asking for it. Kong Min was also so frightened that his face changed. Chao Feng struck while the iron was hot and said, After my investigation, it was found that Bai Shijing had an affair with Kong Min, the wife of the Ma Fu gang leader, and the two conspired to kill the deputy gang leader Ma. They got vice gang leader Ma drunk, and then asked Bai Shijing to use his Eagle Claw Kung Fu to disguise himself as the Throat Lock Kung Fu, which Vice Gang Leader Ma is famous for, with the intention of blaming the Morong family to divert attention. Bai Shijing, you still don't recruit people from the real situation. Kong Min shouted hysterically. Don't believe Chao Feng, he is a Kaiden, he is a Kaiden dog, how can you believe his words? He was slandering me and Elder Bai. I didn't expect that right after my husband Ma Daewon died, Chao Feng, a thief, would bully me, a widow, and throw dirty water on me. Don't listen to his words and ruin my reputation. At this time, Bai Shijing shook his head with despair, and then said, Okay, stop talking. What's the use of refusing to admit it at this point? I really regret that I should not have listened to the words of a vicious woman like you. I made a big mistake that day and regretted it too late. When everyone heard this, they already understood the truth. They all looked at Kong Min and thought to themselves, why did this vicious woman kill her husband? At this time, Kong Min knew that he had been sentenced to death and could not help laughing, as if he was crazy. What's wrong with me? Isn't Chao Feng a Kaiden? That day I found gang leader Wang's suicide note, so I asked that loser Ma Daewon to expose Chao Feng and oust Chao Feng. He became the gang leader. Why did he refuse? He is such a loser and he willingly succumbed to Chao Feng. I didn't expect that you, Bai Shijing, are also a loser, so you confessed in just a few words. If I had known this, I should have gone to Quan Guanqing. Before he finished speaking, Quan Guanqing's expression changed, and he immediately shouted, You vicious woman, how dare you harm me, the deputy leader of the beggar clan, I won't spare you today. After saying that, he hit Kong Min on the chest with lightning speed. He beat her until she vomited blood and fell to the ground. No one expected that Quan Guanqing would go on a rampage and kill people. It was too late at this time, and everyone's expressions couldn't help but change slightly when they looked at Quan Guanqing. Why do you think the other party is suspected of killing someone and silencing him? I'm afraid that Quan Guanqing, the elder of the beggar clan, also has an unclear relationship with Kong Min, but now there is no proof. Chao Feng was too lazy to care about this matter now. After knowing his life experience, he no longer had much nostalgia for the beggar clan. This was the last thing he did for the beggar clan before leaving. He didn't know why Kong Min deliberately framed him. But now that the person is dead, it doesn't matter anymore. He stood up and said goodbye, preparing to find the mystery of his life experience. Moreover, he looked at the message Du Yu sent him and found out that the mastermind behind it was Morong Bo. Morong Bo and his father Xiao Yuanshan are now hiding in the Sutra Pavilion of Shaolin Temple. The Sutra Pavilion of Shaolin Temple is such an important place that Morong Bo could hide there for more than 20 years. Is Shaolin Temple really innocent in this matter? He was only afraid that his father would discover something, so he would hide in Shaolin anonymously. There are many puzzles here, and you need to find the answers yourself. Xiao Feng turned around and left in a dashing way, but left chicken feathers all over the ground, leaving only the beggars looking at each other. Do you dug out two boxes at home, took out two century-old ginseng from the orchard warehouse, and put them into the boxes? This is a real century-old ginseng, and it is sold as a thousand-year-old ginseng in the market. The price of this ginseng is estimated to start at tens of millions, and it is still priceless. If you put it at auction and meet people in need, it is possible to sell it for hundreds of millions. He planned to sell one or two ginseng plants. He got more than 30 plants of this century-old ginseng, and he didn't care about just one or two. In modern society, although money is not everything, being without money is absolutely impossible. 
Even if you live in a rural area and have an orchard, you cannot be self-sufficient in everything. There are always places where you need to spend money. In the past, he still had to work hard to plant a few acres of orchards, and he probably couldn't earn tens of thousands of dollars throughout the year. But it's not needed now. If he plants an orchard in the future, it will be purely a personal interest and will not make him work hard for money. Because he didn't have a car, Du Yu had to take a long-distance bus to the city, which was very crowded. This made him couldn't help but think, it seems like I should buy a car, otherwise it will be quite inconvenient in the future. It just so happened that I made enough money from selling this ginseng to buy a car in the provincial capital. When Du Yu was taking a bus to the provincial capital, in another time and space, Empress Cheng Sun has fallen in love with taking selfies. The system's shooting function allows you to control 360 degrees of shooting without blind spots with just one thought. Seeing the beautiful photos taken really made her overjoyed and a little addictive. I changed clothes one after another and took one photo after another. I even couldn't help but think that I am in my prime now. When I get older, not only will my appearance become sallow, but my figure will also be out of shape. I might as well take the opportunity to take a few photos to reflect on it later. Thinking of this, the Empress of the Tang Dynasty started taking some sexy selfies, and the clothes on her body gradually became less and less. In the end, I only wore my belly band to take photos, and I still felt that I still had a lot of fun. After driving all the surrounding palace maids and eunuchs out of the courtyard, she took off the last of her restraints and started taking beautiful selfies there. Various postures are constantly posed in the courtyard, fully embodying the essence of human body art. In the end, Empress Cheng Sun secretly regretted that she could only take pictures in the deep palace courtyard. The surrounding scenery was just like this, it was really dull. Do you didn't know that the Queen of the Tang Dynasty fell in love with selfies, and also fell in love with the indescribable selfies? If he knew this, he would probably have unstoppable nosebleeds, and then shout loudly, Sister, please accept my bow. Sister Cheng Sun, please kneel down and beg for a photo. At this time, he was swaying on the bus, already drowsy. I didn't even hear the system prompts. Ding, Bai Yuekui accepts your invitation and becomes your friend. Bai Yuekui had just finished playing the game. He bit his lip with his white teeth and began to study the myriad world's vegetable orchard carefully. She was at a critical moment playing games just now, so she didn't accept the invitation immediately. Only now did she have time to look at it. She felt that the interface was somewhat familiar, and seemed similar to a certain breeding farm game before the disaster. It's just that there is no setting about stealing food in that game and the so-called system in front of him currently only has two simple functions, growing your own vegetables and stealing other people's vegetable gardens. As for what the system is, she is also very clear. There were so many novels before the catastrophe, and everyone knows what transmigrate is, what the system is, and what cheating is. It's just that my system is a bit too simple, right? Ignore it, whether it is simple or not, there is finally a system, let's see what it does first. Thinking of this, Bai Yuekui clicked on Do Use Orchard Interface. What comes into view is an apple forest and a pear forest. The ripe apples are bright red and the ripe crystal pears are yellow and clear. They look very attractive. This made Bai Yuekui feel happy. Since the cataclysm, the ground has been basically dominated by the mana ecology, and there are pole eating beast spine worms everywhere. Most of the remaining humans live on the lighthouse, and a very small number are scattered on the ground struggling to survive. The world outside has long been extremely dangerous, and all the cultivated land has long since become barren. The food and materials for human survival all come from the huge reserves before the disaster. Everyone had to risk all kinds of dangers to search for supplies everywhere. Over the years, both lighthouses and people living on the ground have tried to restore agricultural production. However, it can only grow crops in a small area, which cannot meet everyone's needs. After all, as far as the base where Bai Yuekui is located, the area of cultivated land they built in the base can only produce enough food to feed one half of the people in the base. Therefore, they also need to go out from time to time to search for cold storage left over from the old world. At the same time, the crops that survived the old world grew naturally and autonomously in the wild. Whenever it is ripe, 
people will rush to harvest all kinds of wild fruits and all kinds of wild grains collected in the wild. It's just that without artificial cultivation, those grains have undergone wild degradation, the yield has become extremely low, and the taste is also very poor. As for the fruits before the catastrophe, they have also been degraded by the catastrophe, and no one has taken care of them. The fruits produced are already small and sour. But even so, these grains and fruits are still extremely valuable. Especially fruits. Where humans can survive, the only arable land is not enough to grow food. How can there be room to grow fruits? So fruits and vegetables are luxuries, and the taste is really nostalgic. By Yueikui immediately clicked to steel. Ding, the steel was successful and I got 50 kilograms of crystal pears. The crystal pear underwent some changes when it crossed the latitudes of time and space, and became a purifying crystal pear. Purifying crystal pear can quickly replenish physical strength, purify the influence of scarlet pigment, and ensure immunity to the harm of scarlet pigment within 24 hours. It also has the effect of calming the nerves and refreshing the brain, and is good for insomnia, anxiety, depression, etc. It's very effective for mental illness. Congratulations on obtaining 50 kilograms of purifying crystal pears. Congratulations to your friend Do You for receiving 50 kilograms of purifying crystal pears at the same time. This reminder woke Do You up. He immediately became sober and smiled. Oh, did Sister Bai accept the invitation? I wonder if you left any message. I opened the message and saw that there was indeed a message. Hello, I am Bai Yueikui. Has your world experienced a catastrophe? In just one message, it can be seen that the goddess is a bit aloof. Do you open the other party's orchard and found that there was only one kind of thing growing, which looked like wheat, but it was food. It just looks a little different from normal wheat, with little blue lights emitting from the wheat ons. Moreover, the ears of wheat do not look plump, and it seems that the yield per acre of land should be much less than that of normal wheat. Do you clicks to steal? Ding, the steel was successful and I got 50 kilograms of mana wheat. Mana wheat changed when transmigrating space-time latitude and became mana source wheat seeds. Mana origin wheat contains rich life essence, which can greatly replenish human vitality. One pound of mana origin wheat can replenish 1% of human life essence. Long-term consumption, 1,000 kilograms, can extend life by 20 years. Mana source wheat seeds. One pound of seeds can be sown in one acre of land, and about 1,000 kilograms of mana source wheat can be harvested. After one generation of planting, it will degenerate into mana wheat. Congratulations on obtaining 50 kilograms of mana origin wheat seeds. Congratulations to your friend by Yueikui for receiving 50 kilograms of mana source wheat seeds at the same time. After receiving this message, Do you and by Yueikui were both shocked. Do you was surprised that this kind of wheat could replenish the source of life and extend human life up to 20 years. All he wants to say now is, this is simply an immortal substance. He could imagine that if such wheat got the current blue star, it would make countless people crazy. The rich and powerful would want to get this wheat even if they pay a huge price. By then, there will be tens of millions of people rushing to buy this kind of wheat. What surprised by Yueikui was that this wheat could actually produce a large amount of life essence. In the mana ecosystem, the devouring beast is the monster responsible for extracting the life essence from the flower of mana. Once the source of life is extracted from a living creature, it will become very dangerous. At the least, the hands and feet will be petrified, and in severe cases, it will turn into flesh and earth. This kind of wheat can replenish the source of life. Can it save those who have been devoured by the beast? And most importantly, it is very important to yourself. Bai Yueikui is very powerful, but he can't take action often. Every time she takes action, she will accelerate the failure of her body's cells. In fact, it is because her body's life essence is being continuously consumed. This is how she obtains her powerful strength. But if she has this wheat, she can replenish her life essence, will this situation be improved? Then she saw Do You's message. Hello, are you sister by Yueikui from the world of Spirit Cage? You are the goddess of many Odicus here. By the way, have you met Mark now? What's going on with the mana ecology over there? Is it caused by a genetic mutation similar to the zombie virus? Please take photos of my sister's stunning beauty. 
Then I attached a few photos, which were actually some of Baiyuikui's wallpapers that Duyu had found. When Baiyuikui opened these photos, people couldn't help but be a little surprised. How could my photos be spread to another world? What the other party said is also very strange. How can I be the goddess of Odicus in their world? Just as he was about to chat with the other party, he heard Sha Do calling him in the distance, so Baiyuikui had to give up temporarily. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Chapter 11. Bai Yuikui originally wanted to take out the seeds of mana source wheat for the base to plant. Then I thought that I didn't have many seeds and could only plant a hundred acres, so I might as well plant them in the space of my newly acquired myriad worlds orchard. The time is accelerated a hundred times, and it can be planted much faster than the outside world. So I thought about it, and after harvesting six acres of the land, I planted this new type of wheat seed. There are still two acres of land left for use as seed sources. Because she was not sure if the eight acres of land converted into this new type of wheat would still be able to produce seeds after it was stolen. During the insurance period, it would be safer to retain the two acres of original wheat land. At this time, Queen Cheng Sun was enjoying taking selfies, and then she received a notification from the system that she had two more friends. She couldn't help being pleasantly surprised, and opened the Myriad Worlds Orchard interface again, and found that she had an additional female friend. She couldn't help but feel even more happy, and clicked into Bai Yuikui's space. Seeing that there were two acres of mature wheat fields, a smile appeared on Queen Cheng Sun's lips. I have to say, stealing food is quite addictive. Especially as the Empress, I have never done such a sneaky thing before. Once in a while, I am very excited and aroused when I do it. Click to steal now. Ding, the steal was successful and I got 50 kilograms of mana wheat. Mana wheat changed when transmigrating space-time latitude and became mana source wheat seeds. Mana origin wheat contains rich life essence, which can greatly replenish human vitality. One pound of mana origin wheat can replenish 1% of human life essence, and long-term consumption, 1,000 kilograms, it can extend your life by 20 years. One pound of mana source wheat seeds can be sown in one acre of land, and about 1,000 kilograms of mana source wheat can be harvested. After one generation of planting, it will degenerate into mana wheat. Congratulations on obtaining 50 kilograms of mana origin wheat seeds. Congratulations to your friend by Yuikui for receiving 50 kilograms of mana source wheat seeds at the same time. Seeing this introduction, Queen Cheng Sun jumped up in surprise, and the majestic mountain peaks on her chest swayed, and the white flowers made people's hearts tremble. Oh my god, it can actually increase your lifespan. What kind of incredible thing is this? Is this myriad world's orchard some kind of law treasure that can connect to heavenly world? Does this Bai Yuokui live in heaven? Otherwise, how could he live for 20 years after eating ordinary wheat? When I was surprised, I heard the palace maid outside singing loudly, Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Your Majesty is here. Hearing this, Cheng Sun Wugo couldn't care less about being surprised. His face turned red with shame and he quickly looked for clothes. She was naked now. Li Shimin came in just as he had time to put on his red belly band. Seeing the eldest grandson Wugo looking like this, he couldn't help but feel a little surprised. Queen I, what's going on? Cheng Sun Wugo said quickly. I just finished working in the fields and am getting ready to change clothes. Li Shimin nodded when he heard this and said, So that's it. You've worked hard after falling in love. Now that you are a queen, you still have to work every day. You don't have to. Cheng Sun Wugo shook his head and said with a smile, Your Majesty, it is precisely because I am a queen that I have to work every day. Only in this way can we understand the sufferings of the people in the world. Only by personally experiencing the suffering of the people around the world can I empathize with them and understand what kind of things to do to benefit the world. Otherwise, if you are aloof and don't understand how the people at the bottom live, then wouldn't you become a noble who doesn't eat minced meat? When Li Shimin heard this, he was moved and said, Queen, you are really my good wife. At this time, Empress Cheng Sun waved her hand and asked the maids to retreat, and then said, Your Majesty, I have something to say to Your Majesty alone. After seeing everyone exiting the room, Queen Cheng Sun whispered, Your Majesty, I encountered something very magical and unbelievable today. I was added to an organization called the Myriad Worlds Food Stealing Group. How should I put it? 
Your Majesty can understand that I seem to have obtained a kind of immortal law treasure, or a magical dojo. That is a world outside our world called System Space. There, I have eight acres of fairyland. On these eight acres of fairyland, I can grow all kinds of things. The growth rate is a hundred times that of the outside world. Your Majesty can think that time has been accelerated a hundred times. For example, it takes about three or four months to grow a season of wheat in our world. But it only takes one day in there for the wheat to mature. Not only that, the output is huge. Now our great Tang dynasty has the highest yield of wheat, which can produce more than 100 kilograms per acre of land. But inside, one acre of my concubine's land can produce about 400 kilograms of grain. Hearing this, Li Shimon opened his mouth in surprise, what? Such a thing could happen. If you hadn't said this after my love, it would be hard for me to believe it. Cheng Sun Wugo shook his head and said, this is not the most magical place. The most amazing thing is the myriad worlds. As the name suggests, your majesty, our world is just one world. There are countless other worlds in the entire universe. Not only that, the connected myriad worlds also include the worlds of the future and the past. This is called myriad worlds. By stealing food from myriad worlds, I can contact people in other worlds. And this magical system, or dojo, will provide a special and fun ability, that is, everyone can steal various things grown in each other's fields. Hearing this, Li Shimon frowned. Stealing things, doesn't it seem bad? Wouldn't that mean that some people would be stolen from often and suffer a lot? Empress Cheng Sun shook her head and said, No, everyone likes to steal, because the more things you steal, the more benefits you get. The stolen owner will not lose anything. The thief will make a copy of whatever item he gets and give it to the stolen owner. The stolen things will be sent across the myriad worlds for transmission. During this transmission, they will be affected by a special thing called space-time energy. Then the quality of the things will evolve, making the things better and more magic. For example, I only have three friends now. The first friend is a person from 1,400 years later named Du Yu. The other party stole a century-old ginseng from me that Korea paid tribute to. This ginseng spanned a period of 1,400 years and instantly became a 1,500-year-old ginseng. At the same time, this ginseng has continued to reproduce over the course of 1,500 years, redifferentiating into 3,000-year-old ginseng, 11,500-year-old ginseng, and 3,200-year-old ginseng. The other party can get so many benefits, and at the same time, I can also get the same benefit. In the moment of being stolen, we both got 4,000-year-old ginseng plants and 4,300-year-old ginseng plants. Hearing this, Li Shimon said in amazement, it's so amazing. There is also this benefit. Doesn't that mean that people steal more and more things, and the more they steal, the better? Cheng Sun Wugo nodded and said, that's right and these ginseng still possesses special effects after thousands of years. After eating it, it can not only cure many terminal diseases, but also prolong life. Eating a century-old ginseng like this can add three months to your life, a 500-year-old ginseng can add one year to your life, and a thousand-year-old ginseng can add three years to your life. However, each person who has lived for 100 years can only eat 10 ginseng plants at most, each person who has lived for 500 years can only eat 5 ginseng plants, and each person who has lived for more than 1,000 years can only eat 3 ginseng plants. The more you eat, the less effective it will be. At the same time, no matter how you eat these ginseng, it will not damage the body like ordinary ginseng. But considering the problem of the effectiveness of the medicine, it is best to start eating these ginseng from a young age, and you can eat one plant every 5 days. Hearing this, Li Shimon stood up in shock, what? It can increase lifespan, is this true? Queen Cheng Sun nodded and said, of course it's true. This is what the magical system told us. Every time we steal something and obtain the corresponding items, we can learn what these magical items are and how to use them. And these items will be automatically included in our system space. No matter how many items you have, you can carry them with you and summon them at any time. Just like this. After saying this, Empress Cheng Sun waved her jade hand, and saw two two-foot-long fresh ginseng plants appearing on the table. Your Majesty, this is the special century-old ginseng I got. To distinguish it, the system calls it century-old ginseng. This came out of thin air, 
and Li Shimin was shocked. Queen of Love, do you know how to do immortal magic? Cheng Sun Wugo laughed and said, No, didn't I just say that this is the system space? As long as it is produced by the 8-acre fairyland system, it can be freely stored. Not only that, I can also bring a small amount of items in this world into there, and I am only allowed to carry 20 kilograms, 10 kilograms of items at a time. I also have a space like this there. The space is as big as a room. It can be used to store the items brought by the concubine, but there are currently restrictions. It can only store up to 2,000 kilograms of items. When Li Shimin heard this, he exclaimed in amazement, it's really amazing. Empress Cheng Sun picked up a ginseng and put it in Li Shimin's hand. Your Majesty, I have washed this ginseng with spiritual spring water in space. Your Majesty, please enjoy it with me. May Your Majesty and I live forever and be a fairy couple. When Li Shimin heard this, he was moved and said, Okay. If I can live forever in this world with my beloved queen and enjoy wealth and honor in the world, this is my wish. Then he and Empress Cheng Sun picked up a ginseng plant. Li Shimin asked, Is this how you eat it? Cheng Sun Wugao said with a smile, That's right. Just eat it like this. According to the system introduction, the hundred-year-old ginseng tastes sweet and has a sweet aftertaste, just like eating fruit. I just got it too, haven't tried it yet. Just in time to taste it with His Majesty. After saying that, he held the ginseng cherry with his small mouth and took a bite with a squeak. Empress Cheng Sun only felt that the taste was sweet and crunchy, just like biting on a pear. But immediately after entering the mouth, the ginseng pulp turned into soft and tender cue bombs, flowing down the small mouth into the stomach-like liquid. Immediately afterwards, a stream of warm air continued to flow through the body's limbs. He couldn't help but said in surprise, Your Majesty, please eat it. It's really delicious, it's crispy and sweet, and it melts in your mouth. When Li Shimin heard this, he also picked up the ginseng and took a big bite, and then exclaimed in admiration, it's really delicious. After the entrance, I felt a warm current surging through my body, which made me feel very comfortable. The two chatted and laughed, and soon a ginseng plant was eaten by the two of them. They only felt warm all over their bodies, and their physical fitness had improved a lot. Immediately afterwards, some greasy and black substances appeared on the two people's bodies, which shocked Li Shimin. Queen Cheng Sun said, Your Majesty, don't be afraid. According to the system, this is to remove impurities and toxins from our bodies after eating centennial ginseng. That is to say, removing all the harmful things from our body can help us live longer. Come here, prepare hot water. I want to take a bath with Your Majesty. After the two of them finished bathing, they put on new clothes. Li Shimin kept sighing, it's so amazing. I'm curious and want to see the eight acres of fairyland you have, Queen of Love. Empress Cheng Sun shook her head and sighed, Your Majesty, only I can enter that space. I can't bring anyone else in. I let Your Majesty down. When Li Shimin heard this, he laughed and said, there's nothing to be disappointed about. This is your immortal destiny after love. Such a magical space, naturally not everyone can enter. That's right, after you fall in love, don't mention this to others. With such a magical and heaven-defying thing, even if you are the queen, I am afraid of attracting the covetousness of others, so it is better to be careful. Cheng Sun Wugo nodded and said, Your Majesty, don't worry, I understand that this matter is only for Your Majesty to listen to. You and I are one and the same, and I believe in Your Majesty the most in the world. Apart from your majesty, I will never tell anyone else about this matter. Li Shimin was moved, nodded and said, Okay, that's good. Be more careful after falling in love, and don't show these divine abilities in front of others in the future. Cheng Sun Wugo nodded and said, I know, thank you for your concern, your majesty. Then she started to frown slightly again. When Li Shimin saw it, he couldn't help but ask, Why is this so, Queen Love? Cheng Sun Wugo said, Your Majesty, through this myriad world's food-stealing system, friends from different time and space can steal food from each other. Every time after stealing food, we can all exchange brief messages. Everyone can say ten sentences each time. Through brief exchanges, we were able to learn about each other's worlds. At the same time, you can also know the secrets of many myriad worlds. For example, this do you comes from the world 1,400 years later. 
The other party knows my concubine, and her identity was revealed with just one word. But a lot of what he said later shocked my concubines. He said that my concubine will die young at the age of 36, so he advised me to eat more of these spiritual ginseng. Hearing this, Li Shimin jumped up in shock. What? He was shocked and turned pale, and hugged Queen Chengsun. Guanyin, please don't scare me. How could you die young and beautiful at the age of 36? Impossible. You are the queen and I am the emperor. How could you do this? Empress Cheng Sun shook her head and said, Your Majesty, don't panic. What happened to emperors and empresses? There are many short-lived emperors and empresses in history. You have to know that the other person is a person from 1,400 years later. Then he knows all the history of the next 1,400 years, so he must have known it from the history books when he said that this beauty died young at the age of 36. This is not wrong. But your majesty, don't worry. The other party said that I died of illness, so they advised me to eat more spiritual ginseng. Your majesty, if you are concerned, you are confused. These magical ginseng can increase lifespan and can also cure many terminal diseases. My life is no longer in serious trouble. Not only that, I stole a crystal pear from the other party, and then crossed time and became a time crystal pear. After eating it, I can return my body functions to a month ago. It's equivalent to extending your life by another month. So your majesty, don't worry. In the future, I will continue to steal food from people in myriad worlds through this magical system space. There will be more and more magical things like this that can extend lifespan. Not only will your majesty and I not be short-lived, we will live forever. Li Shimin breathed a sigh of relief when he heard this, and then said with a smile, then made Guanyin, why do you have such an expression? I was shocked. Empress Cheng Sun said, the reason I frowned was because the other party said another secret that shocked me. Li Shimin asked, what's the matter? Queen Cheng Sun said, the other party said that the great Tang dynasty almost perished at the hands of our son. After our son inherited the throne, I don't know what he did, which almost destroyed our Li family. Hearing this, Li Shimin was shocked and jumped up from his seat, what? Is there such a thing? His whole body roared, asshole. How so? Is our son Chengqin so stupid? Can it be said that when my Li family is handed over to him as the crown prince, I will be like Qin Shi Wang? Will I be like Emperor Sui Yang? If the third generation of my Li family died, wouldn't I become Emperor Yang of Sui? No, absolutely not, this traitorous son. In this case, I will depose his crown prince tomorrow. Empress Cheng Sun immediately pulled Li Shimin and said quickly, Your Majesty, please don't panic. Just listen to what I have to say. Li Shimin then sat down and said, What else does the queen have to say? Do you want to intercede on behalf of the traitor? Empress Cheng Sun replied, Your Majesty, the other party only said that our Li family was almost destroyed. But after hearing the meaning of the words, they did not perish. At the same time, Your Majesty misunderstood. The other party said that the Li family almost perished in the hands of your son and my son, but they did not say it was because of Cheng Qian. Li Shimin breathed a sigh of relief when he heard this, so that's it. Li Chengqin, who was practicing bow and arrow in the East Palace at this time, did not know that at that moment, his position as prince was almost deposed. If he knew, I wonder if he would be so shocked that he would break into a cold sweat and scold do you across time and space. At this time, Li Shimin frowned again and said, since it's not because of the prince. Then I understand, it's my other sons who covet the throne. They are dissatisfied with the prince and want to usurp the throne, right? Okay, great, it looks like I have to find a way to stop them from thinking about it. Well, tomorrow I will entrust all the princes of the right age. Let them all leave the capital, and also restrict their military power. Empress Cheng Sun took his hand and patted it again, and said, Your Majesty, please don't be anxious. Listen to what I have to say. The situation is not what you think, Your Majesty. The other party said that it is you and my third son who will inherit the throne. Our third son's name is Li Ji. This is what the other party said. Your third son, Li Ji, needs to be dealt with. Don't let him become emperor in the future. That's a prodigal son. The Tang dynasty was almost destroyed in his hands. This made Li Shimin couldn't help but be surprised, what? Didn't my prince Cheng Qian? Why didn't he inherit the throne? 
At this time, Li Shimin and Empress Cheng Sun only had two sons and one daughter, and Li Ji was not born yet, so Li Shimin felt even more surprised. But since the other party was a person from 1400 years later, he was able to name his third son and also said that the other party would inherit the throne. Why doesn't every one of these sounds like they were made up? This made him break into a cold sweat, and then he said, what went wrong? He is actually the third son. Why isn't our eldest son Chung Chen inheriting the throne? Could it be that our eldest son will die young? Even so, according to the order of inheritance, there is still the second child, how can it be the third child's turn? How is this going? Empress Cheng Sun also shook her head and said, Your Majesty, each person can only say ten sentences in each communication. So I just said a few words, and the other party didn't explain some things very clearly. What's the specific situation now? Why didn't our eldest son inherit the throne? I don't know. I'll ask him the next time I have a chance. And I will ask him next time, in what birth was my son Li Ji born? Your Majesty, do you think we should give birth to him when the time comes? Li Shimin hesitated for a moment. Empress Cheng Sun also showed a look of hesitation on her face, and then said, Your Majesty, rationally speaking, I don't think he should be born. But when I think that he is my and His Majesty's son, I don't know why I feel a little heartbroken and can't bear it. It seems that the child is crying there in the dark. He thinks that my mother is too cruel and doesn't want him to come into this world. That will be my child after all. As a mother, I really can't bear it. Please give me a decision. After Li Shimin walked around uncertainly for a few times, he said, Queen of Love, I am also very confused at this time. On one side is our Li family, and on the other side is our children. I don't know how to measure it at the moment. Whenever I think about killing this child invisibly, I feel an indescribable intuition. How should I put it? His arrival may be destined by God. Maybe it's not something you and I can avoid by deliberately avoiding it. It may be that our country, the Tang Dynasty, suffered such a calamity. If not this third son, the fifth or sixth son would also have such a calamity. So, when Queen Cheng Sun heard this, she said in surprise, So your majesty, let's give birth to him. In the worst case, let's educate them well in the future. Li Shimin nodded and said, I think so too. Probably because he is the third son, he has not been taught how to be an emperor since he was a child. Perhaps our eldest son died suddenly and young. Maybe I didn't have time to teach him. I was gone, so he didn't know how to be an emperor. Or maybe for other reasons, he was not educated well. So after he is born, I will educate him well and make him wise and martial. In this matter, you must not feel bad after falling in love. There is a saying that a filial son emerges from under a stick. It seems that such a rebellious son cannot be taught without a stick. At this time, Queen Cheng Sun nodded repeatedly when she heard this and said, Yes, your majesty is right. Such traitors must be educated well in the future, and they should be beaten when they need to be beaten. They must not be tolerated at all. If he is really naughty in the future, your majesty, feel free to beat him, beat him hard, and I will support you. I'll have someone make a stronger cane tomorrow so that I can use it to educate this rebellious son. Empress Cheng Sun is a very kind mother. She is very kind to her children and will not punish them easily. But I didn't expect that this time, Li Shimin and Li Shimin had the same opinions. They were both planning to use sticks to educate each other after their third son Li Ji was born. Li Ji, who was not yet born at this time, probably didn't even know what mistake he had made. What the hell is going on? I haven't even been born yet, and my parents are already thinking about how to educate me with sticks. Why am I a rebellious son before he's even born? Oh my god, mother, are you really my mother? I haven't even been born yet, and you have to prepare a cane to beat me with. Are you asking, is this what a mother should do? Quote. I was wrong. Li Ji, who was not yet born at this time, didn't know that he was almost born because of do use few words. After finally being born, what awaits him in the future will be the sun and moon with countless sticks. From now on, his childhood will be extremely unforgettable. Li Shimin has paid special attention to his homework since he was a child, and checks his learning status every day. If he was slightly dissatisfied, he would either slap his palms or spank his butt. If Li Shimin was angered, he would be hung up and whipped. The Empress Cheng Sun, 
who is extremely kind, would stand by and watch at this time, and sometimes even help the tyrants to do harm. Although she would not have a mixed doubles match with Lee Shimon, she would definitely cheer on from the sidelines, it's time to fight. Your Majesty, you must be tired from the beating. Let's take a sip of tea and rest. We will fight again later. The one thing that Queen Cheng Sun taught him the most from an early age was that a man must not be afraid of his wife. A man who is afraid of his wife is a loser. Then they arranged a marriage for him early and chose a princess for him. It was neither the later Queen Wang nor concubine Xiao Shu, nor could she be named Wu. Empress Cheng Sun taught the Queen step by step how to manage the harem in the future. Even later, Empress Cheng Sun watched a lot of palace fighting dramas from Du Yu, and then gave them all to the future princess. He was thinking in his mind that if his son was still a rake in the future, he would not be allowed to rake his ears in front of the woman named Wu. He needs to find a virtuous wife to control him. The next queen must not be an ambitious woman. Moreover, Li Shimin made an imperial edict early in front of all the ministers. Li Ji's wife will never be allowed to have the surname Wu from now on. My next generation of emperors will not allow any act of deposing the emperor. Whoever dares to dethrone the next emperor and establish a new queen, all ministers can ask him to abdicate based on this edict. In short, because of Du Yu's few words, another sky in the Tang dynasty has become turbulent. Er Du Yu had already arrived in the provincial capital, and he found the largest Chinese medicine store. The drug store owner was a middle-aged man. When he saw Du Yu, he thought he wanted to buy medicine. In this day and age, not many young people come to buy traditional Chinese medicine. After all, affected by the constant suppression of Western medicine, the vast majority of young people believe that Chinese medicine is a scam, Chinese medicine is a lie, and they do not believe in Chinese medicine. But what these people don't know is that when they think that traditional Chinese medicine is a scam, Western pharmaceutical companies are trying their best to collect famous prescriptions from Sha Guo's traditional Chinese medicine and then apply for international patents on these things. Western medicine capitalists are cursing Chinese medicine as all witchcraft and deceit, while at the same time they are modernizing various Chinese medicine prescriptions and applying for patents into Chinese patent medicines, seeking huge profits. So it's not that Chinese medicine is unscientific, nor is it useless. But Chinese medicine does not make money, so Western medicine must be suppressed crazily. If you think about it, I can feel your pulse with just two hands and know what disease you have. B ultrasound, CT, MRI, and various blood test equipment. Who are these expensive machines that cost tens of millions or even hundreds of millions to be sold to? Doctors in the hospital can tell what disease you have just by taking your pulse. Will you spend the money for a B ultrasound, a CT scan, and an MRI? Whose money does the hospital make? Which patient has not encountered any of the above items when going to the doctor? Who didn't get a note from the doctor to get a blood test when they got sick? A random inspection can cost hundreds of dollars. The cost paid is just a few blood collection needles and one test strip. The huge profits made even the drug dealers were ashamed and exclaimed, if you want to make money, it's the hospital. We are ashamed of ourselves. Traditional Chinese medicine uses various wild herbs to treat diseases. In their words, they are just broken grass roots. Herbal medicines are available in the wild and can be collected by everyone. Therefore, after the hospital prescribes a prescription, the patient does not need to buy the medicinal materials at the hospital. In this case, those pharmaceutical manufacturers will not be able to make huge profits. As for Western medicine, it is made using various chemical methods. Ordinary people cannot make it, so they can only buy products from pharmaceutical companies. Faced with life-saving drugs, no matter how much the other party prescribes, you have to grit your teeth and endure it. Therefore, if a medicine that costs only a dime to make is sold to a patient, even if it costs a thousand yuan, as long as it can save lives, the patient will still have to bite the bullet and buy it. Earning hundreds of times profit in the pharmaceutical industry is called having a conscience. This is the truth behind Western medicine's crazy suppression of Chinese medicine. Only after they have completely defeated Chinese medicine, or have Chinese medicine convinced, can they be accepted, and then follow the procedures of Western medicine before they will be accepted. So there is a strange phenomenon now. Even if you go to see a Chinese medicine doctor, after the Chinese medicine doctor checks your pulse in the hospital, 
he still has to write an order for you to have a blood test, a B ultrasound, a CT scan, etc. There is no way, people have to bow their heads under the roof. If they don't do this, Chinese medicine will continue to be suppressed by Western medicine until it perishes. Only by accepting this can Chinese medicine practitioners survive. Then, those Western medicine companies will also turn famous TCM prescriptions into proprietary Chinese medicines. The euphemistic name is to make it convenient for patients, but in fact, we don't want patients to buy those herbs and prepare medicine by themselves. If patients do this, whose money do they earn? Facts have proven that the efficacy of various Chinese patent medicines is generally only about 70% of the original prescriptions, but the prices are also extremely expensive. Traditional Chinese medicine pays attention to medical skills and ethics. Ancient Chinese medicine emphasized hanging pots to help the world. There is a saying that is a portrayal of traditional Chinese medicine, I hope that people in the world will not be sick, rather than putting medicine on the shelf to make dust. But Western medicine is only interested in profit. Those hospitals advertise all day long to recruit patients, and various pharmacies continue to carry out promotions all day long. You can buy two boxes of medicine and get one box free. As soon as the drugstore promoters hear that you are buying medicine, they will start selling you various kinds of medicines. Which ones are more expensive and which ones should they sell to you? Which one will they sell to you with the biggest rebate? When you buy one box, he still has to ask you if one box is enough. How about three or four boxes? However, traditional Chinese medicine is a summary of thousands of years of experience. Because there were no systematic scientific theories or various scientific instruments in ancient times, it was naturally impossible to establish a medical theory based on modern science. It is impossible to use various clinical data to provide so-called scientific proof for ourselves. Not only that, Chinese medicine prescriptions are based on compound drugs that are effective, that is, the ingredients that treat diseases are not just one. If you test an ingredient in a traditional Chinese medicine prescription alone, you will find that the effect it plays may not achieve the desired effect. But if multiple ingredients work together, it's difficult to tell clearly what role each individual ingredient plays in the treatment process. Therefore, it becomes very difficult to use scientific data to verify the effectiveness of a prescription. Western medicine, on the other hand, has a very single ingredient, so the effect of this ingredient can be clarified through testing. But young people who have received scientific education still believe in this, they just believe in a bunch of cold numbers, and they always like to talk about data. As a result, fewer and fewer people among the younger generation believe in traditional Chinese medicine. This has also led to the loss of many traditional Chinese medicine techniques. It used to be that those excellent Chinese orthopedic surgeons could dislocate a joint and recover it with just a few pats, but now Western doctors have to put a plaster on you and fix it for several days. It turns out that those veteran Chinese orthopedics doctors who are awesome can snap it back if you have a herniated lumbar disc. But now, lumbar disc herniation has become a disease that cannot be cured at all. The owner of this drugstore often lamented the decline of traditional Chinese medicine. When he accidentally saw a young man coming to his drugstore, he was a little surprised, but also a little fond of him. He couldn't help but ask, young man, I don't know what you want to do. Is it buying medicine or seeing a doctor? Traditional Chinese medicine stores are still the same as before. There must be a doctor sitting in the pharmacy, so he can also treat patients. Do you shook his head and said, I don't see a doctor or buy medicine. I'm here to sell medicine. After speaking, he opened the backpack behind him and took out a two-foot-long box. After opening it, there was a century-old wild ginseng inside, and it was still alive. This surprised the middle-aged store owner, who couldn't help but shout out, thousand-year-old ginseng. Yes, do you century-old wild ginseng is called thousand-year-old ginseng. This is a rule in the industry. Generally, the so-called century-old wild ginseng in pharmacies is actually only 30 or 40 years old. Ginseng pickers generally refer to wild ginseng with fifth-grade leaves as century-old ginseng. Because they believe that the medicinal age of ginseng beyond such leaves is 80 to 100 years. However, modern scientific research has proven that when ginseng is artificially cultured, it will grow first-grade leaves in 1 to 2 years, and it only takes about 5 to 10 years to grow fifth-grade leaves. 
In 15 years, the legendary 7th grade leaves can grow. Wild ginseng grows much slower in the wild, but it will grow first grade leaves in about 5 or 6 years. Therefore, the actual medicinal age of wild 5th grade leaf ginseng is about 30 years. Such wild ginseng is about 1 foot long with its roots. From ancient times to the present, people have regarded this kind of ginseng as a century-old wild ginseng, so the rules in the industry have been formed. For real wild ginseng that has been growing for hundreds of years, the main trunk will be one foot long, and the roots together will be more than two feet long. You must know that even in ancient environments, it is not easy for a plant to grow for hundreds of years. In addition, it is difficult to obtain in ancient collection environments, so it is extremely precious. Moreover, ginseng likes shade and often grows under trees. Therefore, when a real century-old wild ginseng is discovered, the trees that accompany it to grow are often more than two to three hundred years old. Such trees are often considered to be thousands of years old, so the ancients believed that the ginseng growing under them was also thousands of years old. After all, the ancients had no scientific method to detect the true age of the plant, and they could not always guard the ginseng to observe its growth. The age and value of ginseng can only be determined based on subjective guesses. After a long period of time, this is what the traditional Chinese medicine community calls it. The main trunk of the ginseng that Du Yu took out was more than a foot long, and the connecting ginseng tendrils were more than two feet long. It was fresh and plump, and the white color seemed a bit crystal clear. That's why the middle-aged person on the other side was very surprised and called out Millennium Ginseng. After Du Yu heard this, he frowned slightly in surprise, and then said nothing. He originally wanted to say that this was just a century-old ginseng, but after thinking about it, he realized that he did not understand the traditional Chinese medicine industry. The other party is knowledgeable. People call this millennium ginseng. Why should I refute it? You must know that the price of thousand-year-old ginseng is completely different from that of century-old ginseng. The other party is willing to pay more, and he is not stupid, so why not? After being surprised, the pharmacy owner said, Young man, do you want to sell this ginseng? Do you nodded and said, Yes. The other party said, Then make a price. Do you said, You come up with the price. If it's suitable, I'll buy it. If it's not suitable, I'll find another one. Do you still doesn't know much about the medicinal materials industry, and he doesn't know the specific price of ginseng. Especially this is fresh ginseng. The ginseng in pharmacies is dried ginseng. Therefore, when the price is not known, it is best to let the other party come first. Hearing Du Yu's words, the other party nodded, and then said, Young man, I won't lie to you either. This is the best wild ginseng. The price of century-old wild ginseng is about 40,000 to 50 yuan per gram. But that is dried ginseng. Fresh ginseng will be dried and dehydrated, and its weight will shrink by about a quarter. So the price of fresh ginseng from century-old wild ginseng is 10,000 per gram. After speaking, the other party opened the website, called up a news item and said, look, this has a price reference. The news is about a wild ginseng that was dug out in Changbai Mountain and is said to be 200 years old. The fresh ginseng weighs 325 grams and the final transaction price was 3.26 million. Then the middle-aged boss said, but this is a thousand-year-old ginseng, and its price is ten times that of a century-old wild ginseng. The price can reach 100,000 per gram. After speaking, the boss put the ginseng plant on an electronic scale for accurate weighing. The total weight of your ginseng plant is 724 grams, and its value is 72.4 million. I wonder if you think it's appropriate. Do you pondered for a moment? In fact, he agreed in his heart, but he couldn't agree so quickly because he wants to see the other party's performance, use deliberate silence to put pressure on the other party, and see if the other party is playing tricks on the price. Then he said, I don't really agree with your price. The other party said sincerely, young man, the price I gave you is very realistic. And to be honest, I can't afford it even at this price. I'm just responsible for making an introduction to you. If you want to sell it, I will contact you a seller and guarantee that the price will not be lower than the price just now. So this matter doesn't do much good to me, and I don't have to deliberately trick you. If you don't believe it, you can go to other major pharmacies to inquire about the relevant prices. In fact, do you believe the other party?
because the news he just found on the internet had confirmed that the price offered by the other party for the century-old wild ginseng was reasonable. The price of thousand-year-old wild ginseng is ten times higher than that of the other party, which should be reasonable. But do you thought of a problem? His ginseng was different from ordinary wild ginseng. In the introduction, the system gave it a different name, wild spirit ginseng. One word makes a huge difference. By the way, the medicinal effects of ginseng introduced above are also quite incredible. Ordinary ginseng does not have the effect of curing cancer. This ginseng can cure many types of cancer. Not only that, the system also clarified that it can improve human body constitution and extend lifespan by three months. Ordinary ginseng does not have such effects. So, how can it be sold as ordinary wild ginseng? If the system is already so low, how can it be worthy of the system? Thinking of this, do you said, boss, although this ginseng is fresh ginseng, it must be sold at the price of dried ginseng. 400,000 a gram. The other party shook his head when he heard this, and then said, young man, your price is a bit of a joke. You said you quoted a price of more than 100,000 yuan. Maybe I'll contact you. Maybe someone needs it urgently and is really willing to pay the money. After all, thousand-year-old ginseng is very rare. It is estimated that there will not be one on the market in the country in the past two years. It deserves the price. But your price of 400,000 per gram is already three or four times higher. I'm sorry that I can't do anything about it. He carefully put the ginseng into the box, then closed the box and pushed it in front of Du Yu. Du Yu laughed and said, Of course ordinary wild ginseng is not worth the price. But my ginseng is different. After saying that, he reached out and opened the box again, pulled a small ginseng root from the ginseng, handed it to the boss, and said, Boss, have a taste. The boss took the ginseng root, looked at it carefully, and showed a surprised expression. This ginseng whisker is crystal clear and as white as snow. It does look very different from ordinary ginseng. Then he put the ginseng root into his mouth and chewed it gently. It was not as bitter as ginseng, but sweet, with a refreshing medicinal aroma. After two gentle chews, the ginseng tendrils turned into juice and entered his stomach. He could clearly feel a very clear heat flowing around his limbs. It made him feel very comfortable. This made him extremely shocked. The effect of this medicine was simply too obvious. Then Du Yu laughed. The boss must have felt it, right? I dug this ginseng by chance in the mountains, according to the map left by my grandfather. Such ginseng is not called wild ginseng, but wild ginseng. It is the legendary spirit medicine. Its effect is several times or even ten times higher than that of ordinary ginseng. According to the ancient books left by my grandfather, this kind of ginseng can treat lithiasis. You are the owner of a traditional Chinese medicine store. You should know that Ji and Yan are the ancient names for cancer. That is, this ginseng can treat cancer. Not only that, it also has the effect of prolonging life. Boss, you should have really felt a medicinal warmth surging through your body just now, right? So its medicinal effect is very obvious, even ordinary people can feel it very clearly. Now I say it's 400,000 yuan per gram, does the boss still think it's expensive? When the boss heard this, he nodded and said, if so, 400,000 yuan per gram is not expensive. In this way, Hao Sheng, you sit down for a while and I will contact you a buyer. You can discuss the specific price. I will be responsible for making the introduction. Whether we can agree or not is up to you. What do you think? Do you nodded and said, okay, okay. Finally, the boss asked him to go aside, where there was a quaint tea table, and then asked the waiter in the shop to serve tea, and then he made a phone call. After the call was made, the clerk came over with tea. The boss took one look at it and frowned and said, didn't I tell you? Serve good tea. Bring over the Westlake Longjing I got some time ago. This is a distinguished guest in the store, treat him well. After a while, another pot of tea was brought. Even the tea sets for serving tea are very extraordinary. The handmade blue and white porcelain tea sets are very exquisite. Why is it said to be purely handmade? This can be seen. Nowadays, the glaze on the porcelain that ordinary people usually buy is sprayed on with an inkjet printer. If you look carefully, you will see that the pattern is made up of small colored ink dots. But in this set of porcelain, 
all the glaze colors are not composed of small dots, but are very coherent, and the pattern paintings are lifelike. At first glance, it is the work of a famous artist. The other boss also has a set of etiquette when serving tea. Such solemnity shows that this pot of tea is indeed extraordinary. The tea that comes out is like a cup of green lake water, and the green is like the tender green of the willow tree that has just sprouted, which is very pleasing to see. The tea leaves are clearly defined in the water, and the stretched posture is also pleasing to the eye. The boss smiled and said, Young man, come and have a piece of first grade. This is the Shifang Mountain Longjing given to me by my old friend who will be coming soon. It's not high quality, but its value is even more precious than the super grade Longjing tea on the market. It's all Mingqin tea from century old tea trees. The annual output is limited, only a hundred or ten kilograms. Normally I would be reluctant to drink. Today I am entertaining my little friends and waiting for my old friend to come over. Hearing this, Du Yu nodded. Although he was surprised in his heart, his face remained calm. After all, he is a systematic person. He will definitely meet many big people and come into contact with many good things in the future. Although this tea is precious, can it be more precious than the spiritual ginseng in my hand? I'm afraid that thing can't be found in the entire blue star, right? Thinking of this, he smiled and accepted it calmly, acting neither humble nor arrogant, which made the boss opposite secretly nod. The two of them drank tea and kept chatting. After about half an hour, they saw an old man in tang suit coming into the pharmacy, followed by two bodyguard-like figures. After the other party came in, he laughed when he saw the store owner, Old Wu, where is the thousand ginseng you mentioned? The drugstore boss Wu laughed and said, Old Wu, come and sit down. That thousand-year-old ginseng belongs to this little friend. I'll be responsible for setting up a connection for you. As for the price, you can negotiate it yourself. The other party shook hands with Du Yu first. After sitting down, Du Yu opened the box. The other party's eyes lit up when he saw it, then he turned to look at Boss Wu and asked, How much does it weigh? 724 grams. When the other party heard this, he smiled even brighter, nodded and said, Okay. Then he looked back at Du Yu and said, This is a fresh ginseng. I will pay you 72.4 million according to the market price. What do you think? Du Yu shook his head and thought to himself, the other party offered this price as soon as they came. It seems that this is indeed the price of thousand-year-old fresh ginseng. The drugstore owner didn't cheat himself either. With this reference, he knew what was going on. The old man saw that Du Yu seemed to be refusing, then he thought about it and said, well, I sincerely want to buy it. I'll charge you 120,000 yuan per gram. What do you think? Du Yu shook his head again and said, My ginseng costs 400,000 yuan per gram. The old man couldn't help but frown when he heard this, looked back at the shop owner, and then said, Old Wu, you are entertaining me. Don't you know the basic price of this ginseng? Didn't you explain it clearly to this young man? The price he offered has been several times higher. He doesn't understand the market. Don't you understand? We have been friends for many years. This joke is not funny. Boss Wu laughed, poured him a cup of tea and said, Don't worry, Lao Hu. Since I dare to ask you to come, I think the price offered by this little friend is quite reasonable. Then he looked back at Du Yu and said, Little friend, can you pull another ginseng whisker? Du Yu stretched out his hand and pulled off another small ginseng beard from the ginseng and said, Okay. After speaking, he put it in front of the old man named Hu. Old man, please have a taste. If after trying the effect of the medicine, you feel that 400,000 per gram is not worth it, then I will turn around and leave without saying a word. Hearing this, the other party was stunned for a moment and thought to himself, is there anything special about this ginseng? He took the ginseng root and took a closer look and discovered something strange. This ginseng is too beautiful. Just this one ginseng whisker looks as white as snow, crystal clear, and very extraordinary. From the break with the ginseng beard, there are still wisps of medicinal fragrance floating out, and the smell has a refreshing feeling. Then he put the ginseng whisker into his mouth, chewed it twice, and then his eyes widened with an incredible expression. Then he slapped the table with his hand and said, Okay, I want 400,000 grams. Young man, give me an account and I will transfer the money immediately. 724 grams, 
take a round number, and I'll transfer you 300 million. After a while, Du Yu received a text message from the bank on his mobile phone that 300 million yuan had been received. He pushed the ginseng in the box in front of the old man named Hu. After the other party took it, he was very excited and turned to ask Boss Wu, do you think what medicinal materials should be mixed with this ginseng so that it can help the king and his ministers? The use of Chinese medicine emphasizes the compatibility of the monarch and the minister. The so-called monarch is the main medicine, and the ministers are other medicinal materials used to supplement the medicinal properties. A good preparation can maximize the efficacy of the main medicine, but a poor preparation may affect the efficacy. A good Chinese medicine practitioner will constantly adjust the types and proportions of auxiliary medicinal materials according to the patient's symptoms. The owner of a traditional Chinese medicine store generally has to be a qualified traditional Chinese medicine practitioner himself. So after hearing what Mr. Hu said, the other party laughed and said, just eat it. Mr. Hu was stunned when he heard this, eat it directly. The other party nodded and said, Yes, because the medicinal effect of this ginseng is too high, there is no way to use other medicines to assist the emperor and his ministers. If you want to use other medicinal materials with this ginseng, the auxiliary medicines must at least be wild medicinal materials that are more than a hundred years old. Otherwise, it will only affect its efficacy. Do you think an ordinary soldier can cooperate well with the emperor? So the auxiliary medicine of this ginseng is also extremely difficult to obtain, so you don't have to think about it. Hearing this, the other party nodded and said with a smile, that makes sense, how much should I use each time? At this time, Du Yu said from the side, you can eat one plant at a time. He really didn't want the other party to waste 300 million on this good medicine, so he reminded him. In addition, it is best not to preserve it as dried ginseng. This ginseng is best eaten fresh. When Mr. Hu heard this, he looked at him in surprise, then looked at Boss Wu and said, if you eat such a large stick at one time, won't the effect burn me to death? Boss Wu was also a little confused. He looked at Du Yu and Du Yu replied, this class of ginseng is different. I saw relevant records from the ancient books left by my grandfather. This is a mild medicinal effect of ginseng. Taking one at a time will not harm the body at all, and it can exert the maximum medicinal effect. If you eat half or a little at a time and leave it for a long time, a lot of the medicinal power of ginseng will be lost from the incision. Traditional ginseng is dried and preserved. That's because ginseng is precious. Usually, ginseng is not eaten immediately after it is obtained. Under ancient conditions, fresh ginseng is easy to rot and deteriorate, so it is dried and preserved as a last resort. Once this kind of spiritual ginseng is dried and stored, it will lose more than 20 to 30 percent of its medicinal effect. So the best results are to eat it while it's fresh. Hearing this, Mr. Hu hesitated and looked at Boss Wu, who said, listen to this young man. This ginseng is indeed different from other ginseng, and I can't give an accurate opinion. But he brought the ginseng, he dug it, and his family has records in ancient books. It should be that his family has dug similar ginseng before, so he has experience. Mr. Hu nodded when he heard this, Okay, I understand, thank you. Then do you added, Also, let me interrupt. If the old man doesn't want to eat it now, if he wants to store it, he can only store it in the refrigerator and never freeze it. This ginseng is spirit medicine and has spirituality, as if it is alive. If you freeze it, it will freeze its life to death, which will cause a great loss of spirituality. In that case, it is better to dry and preserve the medicinal effect. More. Hearing this, Mr. Hu and Boss Wu couldn't help but nod. If the other person could say such a thing, he obviously knew a lot about this kind of ginseng. In this case, they had to listen to the professionals. At this time, Mr. Hu noticed that Du Yu was still carrying a backpack. The backpack is just long enough to hold the ginseng box, and it seems like there is something in it. So he asked tentatively, young man, do you still have this kind of ginseng? If so, I would like to buy more. The price is easy to talk about. Do you hesitated slightly when he heard this? He knew that century-old wild ginseng was valuable when he came here, but he didn't expect that century-old wild ginseng of this level would be regarded as thousand-year ginseng in the medicinal market. He originally planned to bring two century-old wild ginseng plants and sell them for tens of millions. Unexpectedly, 
one ginseng plant sold for 300 million yuan. So should the remaining one be sold. This kind of ginseng is known as the thousand-year-old ginseng in the medicinal material market. It is obviously very unusual to sell it at such a high price. Wouldn't it be too conspicuous to take out two at a time? But when I wanted to take it again, I took it all. Forget it, if you sell enough money at one time, you can stop selling the items rewarded by the system for a long time in the future. In this case, the risk will be less. Thinking of this, Du Yu nodded and said, Actually, I picked two ginseng plants this time, both of which are this thousand-year-old spiritual ginseng. Originally I wanted to keep one but didn't want to sell it, but you are a very honest man and the offer is too much for me to refuse, so I'll sell it to you. After saying that, in front of the two of them, he opened the backpack again and took out a box. This was done to tell the other party that there was nothing in the bag anymore and to save the other party from making any further decisions. After putting the box on the table and opening it, there was indeed a two-foot-long fresh ginseng inside, which was also as white as snow and crystal clear. Mr. Hu clapped his hands happily, okay, great. Find an electronic scale to weigh it. This ginseng weighs even more, weighing 771 grams. The other party was also happy and directly offered a price of 310 million. The transaction was very successful. Do you couldn't help but feel a little excited when he saw an extra 610 million in his bank account. Yesterday, he was a poor boy with only an orchard on a barren mountain. In just one day, he now had 600 million in cash and completed six small goals. This feeling made him feel a little dazed, a little unreal, and at the same time he was particularly excited. Sure enough, having a system is different. No wonder everyone wants to transmigrate and have a system. Later, Mr. Hu and Boss Wu each took out a business card and handed it to Du Yu. Little brother, this is our business card. If there are such high-quality medicinal materials in the future, feel free to contact us. The price will definitely satisfy you. Du Yu laughed, took the business card and put it away, stood up and left. Before leaving, he echoed, that's right. This kind of ginseng will have no problems if stored in a normal environment for a month, and it can ensure that the medicinal effect is not lost. It can be kept for two years in a refrigerated environment without any problem, but it won't last any longer. The earlier you take the medicine, the better it will be. It has the effect of prolonging life and longevity. Eating it early is good for the elderly. That's all I'm saying. Believe it or not, it's up to you. After saying that, do you left. However, do you did not leave the provincial capital, but was going to buy a car. On the way here today, he discovered that it is sometimes inconvenient to live in rural areas without a car. In the past, he had no choice but to have money, but now that he has money, it is natural to have one. As for what to buy, he had already decided on a car model and chose an SUV. After all, it is used in rural areas, and some roads are bumpy and bumpy, and ordinary cars may get stuck. So either buy a van or an SUV. Now that I have money, I naturally don't have to wrong myself. I will definitely buy a higher-end car. As for goals, when he was reading magazines before, there were two cars that he liked more, one was Lamborghini Urus, and the other was Dongfeng Warrior civilian version off-road vehicle. As for the performance, as an ordinary citizen, he had not studied it carefully. He just looked at the appearance. He liked the appearance of the Lamborghini and it looked very comfortable. He also likes the appearance of Dongfeng Warrior, it is very tough and looks masculine. There is an automobile city in the provincial capital, where 4S stores of various brands are concentrated. Du Yu took a taxi here and stopped directly in front of the Dongfang 4S store. As soon as I got off the car and was about to enter the store, I heard a voice not far behind me, Oh, isn't this Du Yu? Du Yu couldn't help but frown slightly when he heard the voice. When he turned around, he saw that it was indeed his college classmate Wang Yao. The relationship between the two is not very good. When you go to college, everyone is an adult, so naturally their minds will be complicated. Even among classmates, some may be good at others, but some may have conflicts. That's what happened to him and Wang Yao. Because when he was in college, whether it was academic performance or other aspects, he was ahead of Wang Yao. However, Wang Yao's family conditions were relatively good, so he was naturally unconvinced, and the conflict was thus concluded. He could even imagine what Wang Yao would say soon. 
Sure enough, the other party smiled and said, Why, do you, are you here to buy a car? Looking at you like this, do you want to buy a Dongfang? I'm not talking about you. You are also a top student in our university. You won't be so miserable after graduation, right? I bought a Dongfang car. Let's not talk about buying a Porsche or Lamborghini. At the very least, we should buy a BMW and Mercedes-Benz. Du Yu now has 600 million in the bank, and the situation has opened up. He is really too lazy to pay attention to him. But he was a classmate after all, so he could only say patiently, those cars are not durable to build, and the environment in our hometown is not easy to use. When the other party heard this, he laughed and said, yes, that's right. These high-end cars are really not suitable for the rural environment in your hometown. A Dongfang van is more suitable. You said that you are a top student from a prestigious university. After graduation, you don't want to work in a big city. Why do you want to go back to your hometown? Do you regret it now? Look at me now, I have a good job, and with more support from my father, I am going to buy a BMW today. Look at you, if you want to buy a car now, you can only consider Dongfang vans. Do you glanced at the other person, and then asked, you want to buy a BMW, how much does it cost? The other party said proudly, within 500,000 yuan. Do you asked again, how much is your monthly salary now? The other party said proudly, no more, no more, just 20,000 a month. How's it going? I'm envious, I am also a high income earner now. You see, I have only worked for half a year and I bought a car through my own efforts. So when I was in college, no matter how well I did, I still had to look at how I was doing in society. Do you laughed and said, I admire it, I really admire it. 20,000 yuan a month, working for half a year is 120,000 yuan. Based on what I know about you, and your habit of spending money lavishly, I estimate that of the 120,000, you will only have 20,000 left. Well, then you contribute 20,000 yuan yourself and ask your father to contribute 500,000 yuan. You work hard on your own to buy a car worth more than 500,000 yuan. I'm really impressed. While the two were talking, they had already walked into Dongfang's 4S store. The saleswoman who came over happened to hear the conversation between the two and couldn't help but burst into laughter. This made Wang Yao's expression change, but he soon became calm again and said, in any case, it is better than driving a Dongfang van. While he was talking, Du Yu had already walked straight towards the powerful and domineering Dongfang warrior in the exhibition hall. There are two Dongfang off-road vehicles in the center of the exhibition hall, one is the classic civilian version of Dongfang Warrior. The car's model completely inherits its military version, with a masculine and tough appearance. Although it is a civilian version of an off-road vehicle, in fact, some people believe it even if you say it is a light-armored vehicle. The vehicle is nearly 5 meters long and weighs 3.2 tons. Top speed is 125 kilometers per hour. The car next to it is the latest Dongfang Warrior 917, model 2023. It is completely different from the classic shape. It adopts a mecha-style design and has a more futuristic feel. It is said that the power of this car reaches 1,000 horsepower, but it is purely electric. Do you seems to like both? Which one should I buy? There was some hesitation for a moment. Let's buy Dongfang 917. He is also worried that it will be inconvenient to charge pure electric vehicles in rural areas. But the car's appearance was really beautiful, which made him a little excited. At this time, Wang Yao came over and took a look, curled his lips and said, Don't look at it, you can't afford it. These two cars are indeed considered luxury cars under the Dongfang brand, but one is priced at 880,000 yuan and the other is more than 1 million yuan. Don't look at it, it's useless if you look at it. At this time, Du Yu ignored him, clapped his hands, and his mind suddenly became clear, I'm so confused. If you like both, just buy them both. It's not like you don't have money. Then he waved to the sales lady and said, let me ask, you should have bulletproof versions of these two cars, right? How much does a high-end bulletproof plate cost? Give me one. Of course, if you want to buy it, you have to buy it well. Do you thought of a problem? He has the Myriad Worlds food stealing system, and he might be able to transmigrate to other worlds one day. At that time, it is best to drive a bulletproof version. 
If this Dongfang Warrior off-road vehicle were bulletproof, it would almost be an armored vehicle. This way the security is high. Who knows what is going on in other worlds. Anyway, the money is spent, and I don't mind spending more money to buy safety. At this time, Wang Yao was stunned by him, what's going on? This kid is showing off like this. If you buy these two cars, you should also buy the high-end bulletproof version. You are joking, you are deliberately slapping your face in front of me to make yourself fat. Thinking of this, he couldn't help but said, Do you, do you know how much the bulletproof plates on these two cars cost? Why are you driving another car? Do you smiled and nodded and said, Yes, how did you guess it? I like the appearance of these two cars. If I buy one, I can drive them interchangeably when I have time. Wang Yao curled his lips and said disdainfully, Blow, keep blowing. Don't I know what's going on with you? Don't be ridiculous. Can you afford it? Don't be embarrassed if you can't come up with the money when you want to pay later. Do you laughed and said, Okay, you don't need to worry about this. I just don't have money, and I won't ask you to borrow it. He looked back at the saleswoman who was stunned on the spot and said, Don't be stunned. Are you going to sell it or not? Only then did the other party wake up. In fact, their Dongfang brand is incomparable to those big foreign brands, and people who buy luxury cars generally don't come to them. Their 4S store cannot sell a few Dongfang Warrior off-road series vehicles in a month. The other party bought two cars at once, and wanted a high-end version and a bulletproof version. She had never encountered this before, so she was stunned. But now she is very excited. If the other party really buys two high-end bulletproof versions of Dongfang Warrior off-road vehicles, it will be a multi-million dollar order. She immediately took out the relevant information and asked Do you to make a selection. Do you made some choices and upgraded many parts of the two cars, and the final selling price of each one exceeded 3 million. Netizens watched Do you seriously discussing car improvement plans with the saleswoman. I sneered in my heart and thought, just pretend. I won't leave today. I think I won't be able to come up with the money when I wait for you to pay. Isn't it embarrassing? Hey, wait until I start a live broadcast so that our classmates can see you pretending to be a fat person and pretending to be a failure. Soon someone in the group asked, what is this for? Hey, isn't that do you? This looks like you are in a 4S store. Are you buying a car? Awesome. Do you bought a car just half a year after graduation? He is truly worthy of being the monitor of the class, awesome. Seeing that many people in the group were giving do you likes, this made Wang Yao very unhappy. Immediately typed a reply. What are you looking at? Look where this is. It's Dongfang's 4S store. I think do you is just here to buy a van. What is there to envy you? Let me tell you, I came here to buy a BMW, and I accidentally ran into do you entering the Dongfang 4S store. I guess he was afraid that I would see him buying a van and feel embarrassed. This guy was pretending to be in front of me. So he slapped his face in front of me and pretended to be fat. He said he wanted to buy a Dongfang Warrior off-road vehicle and bought two of them at once. Do you know how much a Dongfang Warrior off-road vehicle costs? 880,000. That's not all. I want to buy a high-end bulletproof version. I'm discussing a customized plan with the sales lady. The current plan has already exceeded 3 million per vehicle. It's so funny. He has only graduated for a year, how can he get so much money to buy a car worth 3 million? Just let him pretend in front of me. Let's see how long he can pretend. As soon as these words were said, the whole group was silent, and no one knew how to answer. Then Wang Yao said triumphantly, As a human being, you must be more practical. How much food can you afford? What's the point of pretending in front of your classmates? None of us still know our respective situations. You are like me. With my family's conditions, if I buy a BMW worth 500,000 yuan, that is normal. Who is do you? His parents died when he was in college, leaving only his grandfather to depend on. It would be great if he can afford to go to college. For a car worth 3 million, let alone the full payment, he just needs a down payment. Can he afford it? The same goes for do you. How come he has become so vain after entering society? Why are you pretending to be in front of my old classmates? Let's see how long he can pretend. Look at his serious look. Ha <laughs> ha, he is probably delaying time and waiting for me to leave. I won't leave today. I wonder how he will end up today. 
Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.